YouTube is starting. Hello, YouTube, and apologies for last night. We ended slightly earlier than I wanted. Not a lot earlier. It was like 1.30. But, um... It was like a countrywide blackout of Comcast. It was... Kind of scary? Do I have a picture? I mean, this is... This, to me, is not like a little oops. Like, this... I feel like this is almost... Almost newsworthy. Hold on, let me see if I can get it up. What time is it? It's like around 7.30. This was the internet outage. That's like all of New England and most of the California and Seattle and a lot of Florida. That's crazy. At least it wasn't just me. Right? I mean, that, that looks like something really bad happened. <laughs> right? right? That does not look good. How long did it last? It wasn't like five minutes. Otherwise, I would have been back on. It was over an hour. It, it seriously feels like somebody just turned off the internet. <laughs> it was about a year ago, Dean. A man walked up to my front door with a little ad for fiber internet. And I said, oh, this will be in the fall, right? And he said, oh, no, it'll be here real soon. And I was like, it's not, it's not going to be here soon. It'll be the fall. He said, oh, no. No, no, no. It, it'll be here in the spring. Even my pessimistic guess of it happening in the fall was wrong. It has now been over a year and still no fiber. Now, m mind you, you know, the ground is hard right now. So I don't think it would even be that good of an idea to try and lay fiber. Not, not too much is going to happen. If I get it before Monster Hunter Wilds, that will be a miracle. I don't think it's going to happen. He was scamming me. Oh, no. Well, it depends. Is scamming the U.S. taxpayer scamming me? Then, yes, he was scamming me. There was, in the Biden infrastructure bill, money set aside to increase high-speed fiber networks. And presumably they installed fiber to some areas, but I'm pretty sure they took a lot of money and did nothing. They certainly, Frontier certainly not finished it. Move to Asia, <laughs> brother. <laughs> you don't gotta argue, you don't, you don't gotta convince me, man. I know what a scam is, the maid. <laughs> I have the outfit, now I gotta get a Stolfo wig. Dude, I have no problem. I would, I promise you, a Japanese ghost is a better roommate than a noisy upstairs neighbor in the United States. Do I have a monster energy drink? That was a beautiful time on the internet, wasn't it? You're late. I'm banning you. So now you're banned on two platforms. Do you have any last words? Don't worry. I think your ban request is still on Twitch. So you might get unbanned on Twitch in October if the people have mercy on you. But I'll tell you, I saw the message. It's not looking good. It's not good. I won't, I won't tell them it was you, but it's not a good look. 
Am I having a good day so far? We're starting it off fast, man. Oh, there's a real... Good luck on the run. You love the streams? Thank you. Well, I don't see any groveling, guys, so I think I just got to do it. I was giving them one last chance to grovel. Oh, so, so be it. I don't know why people don't understand. Like, how... For those of you in Twitch chat, how often do I say I don't fuck around on YouTube? It's like every stream? I don't got time to put up anyone's shit in YouTube. You don't like it? Fine. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to read your shit. Sorry for swearing. It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> this is an Abdul only chat. I think they're they're one of the oldest unban requests, so we might it might actually be the very first unban request. No second chances. I would say, for the most part, uh, Twitch chat is pretty merciful. You guys like to unban people. I want uh, Diablos Arcanite Force so I can finish my uh, defense augment. You're here to avoid getting waterboarded by Twitch ads. Uh, I did check RDC, and I, it's still, it says 90 seconds every 30 minutes. It hasn't gone up. I am paying a little over $100 a month to Comcast for 1000 down and 25 up. They actually give me better up. It's more like 30 to 35 up. You know, if I had Frontier, it would be like $60 a month for like 500 up, 500 down. Uh, that's the offer they were trying to give me. But um, they have not. They haven't. I mean, do we need Diablos? I mean, it's just like you never know. I guess we could keep leveling up the Guiding Lands, but I, I think three is technically the high, the best level for it to be at. Or maybe it's only at two. Why is our internet so expensive? I don't think my internet is expensive for what I get. Rel for the U.S. But, um, it's really bad in Canada. How would I rate the 7-Eleven food in Japan? Uh, great. I mean, I don't know if you like bentos or cheap, decent sushi or rice balls or any sort of like simple sandwich. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to get a... The snacks are all really good and cheap. The nice thing is, is Japan is very good about constantly changing around their menus and stuff. So it's a little hard to get bored. Oh no, Punk has got favorited. Hold up. Come back. <laughs> you want to get a video montage to do stream moments for YouTube? I understand why you suggest that. And I get it. Most normal streamers probably do this because like they spend a lot of money and like they need a lot of money but I don't really care I'm not rich or anything but I'm not very strongly financially motivated if you want to do it and collect the AdSense, you are free to use my content 
in any way that you like as long as you link the original stream. If a company offered me a couch sponsorship, how much would I consider it? I was offered a free uh, Monster Hunter uh, Rathalos chair. Like a gamer chair. And I said, no, I don't want it. I don't know if I don't know who it was a collab with. I'd have to check my email. I mean, I don't. You gotta like. I mean, look. I, I again. I'll play pretty much any video game. Um, for money, I'll I'll even do some physical like sponsored stuff. Like I did a HelloFresh sponsorship, and it was okay. But if I, if I think I'm going to have to, like, have a thing and have it on stream all the time and talk about it, like, more than one stream, I don't, I don't know. A little sus. I mean, those... I mean, look, if you just send me a thing and it's free, I'll be like, yo, thanks. But, like, I'm not obligated to play your thing. <laughs> I don't know what they expect. The worst condition I had, Crickstar, was I was offered a free key to, like, the most recent Star Ocean game. You'll have to look it up and figure out what the name of it is. But on the conditions of accepting the free key... I had to play it for two hours, and like every 10 minutes, I had to I had to say like, thank you, Square Enix, for the free key. <laughs> I'd do it for Cap, though. And the funny thing is like, I like Square Enix. Like for the most part, I mean, I like their games. I was even interested in, in Star Ocean. It's just like, I don't know. I don't want to... Not that I'm claiming that I've got a high value brand, but I don't want to devalue my brand by like offering literal several hours of even more explicit advertising for a game than what I would normally do for, for zero dollars. That being said, I did just tonight accept a Fall Guys sponsorship. It's not explicitly a Fall Guys sponsorship. It's got a tie-in with TurboTax. You guys know my feelings on them. But I mean, hey, they're not audible, so. Overlord Dean, I'm the, I'm the only guy on the internet that thinks that what Microsoft is doing is a good thing. You love me unconditionally? Thank you, James Jackson. DSP screwed himself financially with TurboTax? Well, what did he do? Just like keep clicking every button until he paid no tax or something? <laughs> I mean, that's not, that's not the tax program's fault. Game Pass will kill the Western industry? I'm happy to report that you, that PlayStation, Sony is doing the exact same thing that Game Pass is. He claimed his new house is a business expense? Like his rent? He didn't, he certainly didn't buy the house or his mortgage. He certainly didn't buy the house in cash and then write it off for a year. I mean, oh, look, I am not a tax professional. If you want a tax professional, you can pay for experts on TurboTax. Hashtag sponsored, hashtag ad. But I mean, you can, if you have like a designated office, like it's not unheard of. 
Here, Akawa. You want to apologize for yesterday? I don't remember. Did I yell at you yesterday? <laughs> Sorry, I was forgiven. If you're not permanently banned, it couldn't have been that bad. I mean... If you had a house that the only thing you did was go to it and work out of, and then when you were done working, you left. I'm not an accountant. Don't ask me these questions. <laughs> I'm going to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. That's a home office. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going back. Uh -huh. That's fine. I, I don't think, you know, I think I'd be okay in prison. If I had like an iPad. Yeah. You came cloud, ca claim couches as dependents. You know, every single goddamn year, you get, it asks you the question of like, do you want the earned income credit? And I'm like, hot, hot damn I do. And it's like, do you have any children? And I'm like, damn it. Goddamn breeders getting all that free money. No offense to you child havers. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna keep leveling up the guiding lands. Right, let's let's go let's go around a couple more areas. Adopt you? That that adult adoption show was insane. Blow Ohio. Adopt you and put in the corner of the basement. It would be very annoying if you were trying to sleep and I was sitting here streaming for seven hours and you just had to lay there staring at me, screeching at a computer with no context. Why was I, why were we watching that? Um, I think it's because a guy in chat was making a joke that nobody had context of over having a bang made. Which I think is a joke from It's Only Sunny. But like without the context of It's Only Sunny, it goes from maybe being a good bit to being a bit about a guy that sounds like somebody that should probably be in prison. <laughs> being like, yeah, I want to bang me. I made the cleans on my house that I can just bang whenever I want. That's not... What? I'm going to get one more and then we're going to find another Kulu. Yeah, we, we had a little uh, just just watching streams. I mean, the funny part is this. If I was in Japan now, we might be able to... Once the restream services get AV1 on them, bad internet wouldn't be as bad. Oh, he's not showing up. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to pull him out. We have to pull out another Kulu. I should have really done this before anything else, because there would have been less spots for Diablos to spawn in. Now we just gotta deal with whatever garbage there is in the other zones. That's not true, Akiva. We tested that myth, and myth was busted. Changing the object in the training area does not switch monsters. It maybe did in a earlier patch, but they must have, have patched it out.
The next fest started, I saw it, and all I saw was a dark and darker clone. I didn't really see anything else that I really liked, like, in the previous Next Fest. That was fun, that last time we did that Next Fest. I don't remember ever doing it. I just want to let everyone know I've been playing Judgment on my PlayStation 5 using my premium PlayStation service. And I got to a part in the game where a side quest involved me trying to catch a guy called Ass Ketchum. And while Ass Ketchum was on screen, Jen walked by, pointed at the screen, and said, Is that you? where he's able to keep his rock on the ground. Don't want to majorly spoil the game at all, but he's quite a character. There's a lot of mechanics in Judgment that I feel like aren't fun. But it is nice to have them, if only because it, it changes up the formula from normal Yakuza. Like, I don't like trailing people. I don't like looking for evidence. I don't like flying my drone around. There's a mini game where, like, you just have to select the correct key. A stack race of land to prevent crashes. Uh, we, I updated my drivers and we're on DirectX 11. Did I catch the Panty Professor? Catching the Panty Professor is a prerequisite to fighting Ass Ketchum. There is still one member of the Panty Gang, the Panty Trio, that I have not yet gotten to. But I'm assuming I will get to him soon. What's the reason I refunded Grand Blue again? It's not a it's not a game problem. It's like it's like a me problem. I just I didn't feel like playing the game. And I was right at the two hour mark. It's the last member of me. I am canonically ass catching. It's just, it's not that, I mean, again, like, I didn't get far enough to know. But it just didn't feel that hard. I'm sure it gets hard. I think part of it is I just feel offended that... It even offers a mode where you don't even have to push the button. You can just wiggle the movement stick around. And I just like knowing that's in the game just like kind of upsets me. <laughs> Skill issue? I think I like Xenoblade. Are you saying Xenoblade is not a good Xeno game? Or are you just like the uh on the, in the camp that like the only good Xeno game is Xeno Gears? You didn't have fun with the drone racing? Bro, I literally just turn on like a podcast or something else and turn off the audio on the TV when I do the drone racing. <laughs> 
I really like Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, whatever, X? Isn't it X? That game is real bad. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That's the one with, like, the anime girls and the, got the fake gotcha system. Also... I'm not a hater. I mean, look, man. I mean, I could try it. All of them have anime girls. I don't think... I don't think Xenoblade is that bad. I like that game. I'll stand, I'll stand behind that game. So Diablo should be spawning with incredible frequency. They tell us today? Probably. Unless something horrible happens. I'm not trying to bait you because if we don't get there, I apologize, but there's there's a good chance we get there today. Nothing horrible ever happens. I think it's been two weeks since we had a clear. I just got to play with a heavy weapon, I guess. What dogs hello? Good evening. School has been going well, I hope. Just got done writing the last bit of your dissertation, so I just want to relax now. Still very much, um... Having a broken brain syndrome over the guy saying that you could just go to YouTube to learn things <laughs> versus going to school. Hell wheel money gonna run out sooner or later? I hate to tell you this, Dean, but... Unfortunately, this brand of content has been doing incredibly well. Even without pumping anyone, like, for subs. I don't know what to tell you. How's the run so far? I just really need a Diablos to show up. I'm trying to identify the anime girl in your profile picture by just squinting at her and I can't make her out. I'm gonna go to your channel. Oh, that's not an anime character. Is that... Diva? Ari? She's got little cat whiskers drawn on her face. They should let Twitch users have user icons that show up under chat. I think that would improve the stream. So many people would get banned. <laughs> There'd be so much banning all the time. I guess the issue would be is like you just randomly getting people like registering and then just like showing buttholes. Yeah. Yeah, I know that would happen. That's probably why they don't do it. I don't know if we're ever going to get this. I'm feeling despair. Maybe we could meld a bunch of banishing balls 
and just banish ball everything on the map over and over again. You think that'd be faster? I don't know if that would be faster than just loading. I mean, our loading screens are pretty fast. They're really expensive. No, no way. All right, well, we're just going to... What do I want to do here? We can get Safi up and running. I just, it's been 30 minutes and I've killed two Kulus, so. Uh, you gotta get the show on the road eventually. Do I have a Discord? I do. I don't know if the chatbot will work with it, but we can try this. Oh. Can I do the air fryer bit again? <laughs> you like that, don't you? Did you know it's actually a convection oven? So there's the recon. Let's see if we got our poison things. Uh, we do actually. Exactly. Alright, we'll do, um, we'll just do our Safi now. It has been weird being a part of two actually popular games within the past year. Armored Core 6, right? I think it was Armored Core 6. And Monster Hunter, all within one year. Exposes you to a lot of weird parts of the internet and streaming services. This is the weird part. This stream is the weird part. Honestly, kind of fair. And we got to fight some Velcana. That's the plan. Do I enjoy branching out and trying different uh, genres of games? I play all sorts of games off stream. We've had we've had some other dips into other games on the channel. Probably Bloons Tower Defense Six and. Um, no, we, we, uh, we had a pretty good run with Xeno, Bra Dragon Ball the Breakers. No, I never got the VR headset, Dean. But, fortunately not. People love the Balloons content. Balloons content was very popular. I mean, you know, for the people that like that sort of thing. People that don't like this sort of thing, they hated it. But I think for the for the most part, people liked it. Do I get nostalgic thing about the sweaty sappy lobbies? That was like work, man. People don't realize 
He heavy, heavy lays the crown. When you've got to manage that many people. Uh, I can give you gamble for when you do a latch round. Remember me ordering around so much? Yeah, I'll do it again too. Like, if you want to be in a lobby where the streamer just like fucks around for like 30 minutes in between hunts before like getting carried by three people in full Fatalis armor, there's about a thousand other VTubers playing this game right now. You watch them. <laughs> I don't care. Go to their lobby. No offense to VTubers. Wild Hearts is 60% off Steam. Is it good? What does that make it? I would spend $20 on Wild Hearts. Do not spend more than $20 on Wild Hearts. Yeah, that took a while. a long time. I'm your favorite VTuber. I'm like VTuber adjacent right now. $28? The, the, the problem is like, I don't know how it's going to run on your computer. You know, if I knew it was you were going to get a solid 1080p60 or 1440 p 60 I would like feel more inclined to recommend it to you. But it's just like... I think Digital Foundry voted it as the worst performing PC port of 2023. And I can say that's 100% true, but it's definitely not false. I played it, I beat it, I did a lot of side content on stream. I would say for the most part, people were like, okay with it. Definitely a little bit more of a fun solo game than a fun, like, let's watch the game. Yeah, Jedi Sur Survivor must have gotten a patch or something because I know that one was really bad. The not Zora quest is the worst part of the game. That was so bad. I mean, it, it was fun the first time you did it, but then to never have like a, a proper fight the bear quest is insane. I mean, I think it's, you know, e equal blame. Equal blame on Koei Tecmo, equal blame on EA. I think I think they're both, you know, equally share that responsibility. EA just published the game. Even if they force them to make some really bad decisions, I mean Koei Tecmo is the one doing the coding. World, World was really bad on release, but you know, I think games that were released in like 2018, that was kind of a long time ago. I know that sounds like insane, but we were just starting to get a lot of games released on PC at that point. You know what I mean? And Capcom was definitely still Figuring out PC releases and things like that. There was also a major issue with like some hardware based CPU data integrity thing was like majorly scuffed and had to be patched out around that time, which also really hurt PCs that weren't like 
a 7th gen i7 or further, something like that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Some like, some module or something wasn't working. Some. It was like how the processor generated random numbers were wrong. why you stick with subpar consoles i mean for last gen games i think the playstation 5 does a great job on which is really sad like that should not be your metric but i i wouldn't want to play like dragon's dogma on a playstation 5 or wilds on a playstation 5 i mean you could play rise <laughs> i'm sure rise looks great on a PS5. That was a good amount of Hunter rank. So we are at almost HR 42. I think we're just gonna do Cherry Blossoms. I'll do a couple Cherry Blossoms. Bad PC ports will be why you never be your main game platform. You're either stuck with bad PC ports or you're stuck with console games that will never run well. There's really no winning. On immediately after their launch, consoles do pretty well, but like at this point in the generations, I don't know, man. Wish you could play Wilds on your PS4, brother. <laughs> there are people in chat older than the, uh, younger than a PS4. When was PS4 released? PS4 release date. November 15th, 2013. 11 years old. It's time to move on, dude. I'm not trying to be a hater or anything, but... That's old. The achievement noise is our peak, Akiva, on um, Xbox. I don't know why Steam has never integrated, like, sounds and rarity for their achievements. Don't run. No, please. The achievements on Steam have sound, but like there's one noise. It's like boop, boop. Xbox has the whole like rare achievement. And it's like, and it, it sounds great. I refunded Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling. Getting a lot of anger from people. Getting, getting a lot of anger from people over my refunding of that game. I'll get it when it's on sale. I'll pay like 30 bucks for it.
I will. I, I promise you it'll hit 30 bucks in a month or two. Best weapon for killing high rank Nergy Gante? Like, best weapon class? I don't know. Dual blades are pretty good, I guess. Lance is real good too. Yeah. Assuming you've got like guard three. Sometimes forget about Lance. That's really sad. Don't run, please! You didn't even drop a pod, I hate you, no! Where's she going? Oh my god. It doesn't go too far. This is like all the way across the map. Got to go all the way over here. Okay, I know where this is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's g gaming in general is going to be really weird in the next two years because you're going to get Monster Hunter Wilds, basically a Dragon's Dogma two, basically nothing else, and then a ton of studios just being like, "Oh, we shut down." all of our major projects. Do I have alerts on? Oh, I turned them off last night. We had a trust exercise with noises. The chat failed. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I don't care. I don't care about that game. I'll turn the noises on. I mean, it's just like, other than Call of Duty, and I guess maybe FIFA, what other massively high budget video game makes their money back? Has ever made their money back? I don't even know if that exists. Why did I do Bug and Honey? I'm going to go back and forth between doing Basil and doing those two. The worst modern game decision I can imagine Flaccid Bagel was Sony deciding to give up on the Japanese market and move all their stuff to San Mateo. That's like the most depressing thing that they ever did. Like just destroy the absolute core of their soul. Being like, oh, I guess we're just not going to bother making interesting creative games with small studios anymore. We're just going to focus on making God of War and 
The Last of Us. <laughs> it's like, it makes me laugh. I'm not saying those are bad games. Necessarily. I mean, they're fine. That's about it. I mean, we've had how many releases and re-releases of The Last of Us 1 and 2 before they've even made a Last of Us 3? I don't even know if a Last of Us 3 even makes sense. Like, I didn't play Last of Us 2. Like, I don't know. I mean, even if Tokyo Jungle and Nobi Nobi Boy didn't make a million dollars or billions of dollars or whatever, like, they couldn't have been that expensive to make. The, the like, goofy little high budget indie games. You got it, wet dogs. Yeah, we're not in a uh, festival, so I need to get decorations from the greatest Jaggers. And the sad thing is like game preservation wise, like it's really hard to play those older games. Because you can't even play them natively in a PS4 or a PS5. Like, they got to be streaming. Tokyo Jungle does have a pummer. Absolutely. There's a lot of animals. I, I did. I actually uh, did buy the overpriced PlayStation Plus sub because it was on sale, Virgil. And my PlayStation hooked up and I noticed that they had both Judgment games on there that I wanted to play. How much was it? It was like $110 for a year for the highest plan. I just bought it the other day. It's probably still on sale. Roko Huda, we will know in a month. Wasn't there like a Capcom Town survey that came out? I saw something like that in, in the Discord. Do it on stream. Okay, we can do it. That's content. Let's see if I can pull it up. Is there a way to sign in?
I have to create a card? Uh, I won't be able to get enough decorations for what I want, though, Fume, if I do that. I think I got it. All right, hold on. I think I got it up. It's <laughs> how it normally goes, wackages. This is the Capcom Capcom Town Survey. Which of the following games do I like best? Monster Hunter World. Where, where's the original? <laughs> Why does it have to be Iceborne? I mean, I like Iceborne well enough. Who is your favorite Capcom character? Hunter. <laughs> I can pick the Hunter from Resident Evil. Uh, Monster Hunter. Serious Handler? Handler. Admiral. Gallius is there? Wait, do they have the Rise characters? They don't have the Monster Hunter characters? Monster World characters? Aiden. Aiden. Theo Rain. Queen Vespoid. It's not Rathalos. Guildmarm's not going to be there. This is un this is like insane. They only have the Rise characters? Shara was on there? What the hell? So they only have the world monsters. They don't have the world characters. I'm going to choose Nergigante. What do I look for in uh, Capcom games? Exhilarating gameplay, yes. Uh, good graphics. Uh, unique worlds, replay valuable. Uh, good music. Difficult but satisfying gameplay. Uh, ability to play of players. I mean, the characters are okay. Storylines are okay. I mean, but I don't. Even though that's a throwback game? I mean, I like Street Fighter 6, but I like the older fighting games too. Up to three? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. This. 
this satisfying but rewarding gameplay replay value I mean the graphics are usually really good I really I gotta say I don't really like the graphics on the rise engine or the uh, re engine do I miss my speed runs if I did I would just do more speed runs what sort of question is that Get your head together, YouTube. Which image do I have of Capcom? <laughs> the headquarters in Japan? What does it even mean? <laughs> Weird in a good way, unique. A master of its craft. I mean, the headquarters is in Japan. I mean, it's not, they're not wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to put it down. That's not like my main image of Capcom is like headquarters is in Japan. Are there any Capcom Gary series that you would like to see a sequel to? Well, we're getting a sequel to Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> is this the game where you have to touch the prisoners? Tawari no Paruma? Is that the prisoner touch game? I think it is. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> well, they're willing to try anything. I mean, obviously Monster Hunter. Dude, I'd love to see another Breath of Fire. Dino Crisis isn't a bad one. Like, I would select Dead Rising if I thought another good Dead Rising could happen. And I just don't, I don't know if they could do it. But Dino Crisis could be good. I'd love to see another Breath of Fire game. Mega Man needs new good stuff? I don't know. I don't know that it does. I think the time has passed. Is there a game you'd like to see completely remade with the latest technology, including character design and story direction? Uh... No? <laughs> it's not here. I don't really want to see Mon Breath of Fire 1, 2, and 3 remade. I want a new Breath of Fire 1, 2, and 3. Dark Hollow's Quest is pretty good. But, like, it doesn't, like... Like, I don't look at any of these games and, like, these, these need to be remade. What was the first Capcom game you played? You shut your, shut your, your goddamn mouth. It's probably Mega Man 2. I think it was Mega Man 2 before Street Fighter. Was that in black and white? Yeah. 
Which Capcom game has influenced me the most? <laughs> well, I mean, it's got to be World, but... Monster Hunter? <laughs> it's probably there! <laughs> it doesn't even have an image! Oh, that's so funny. That's really funny. Oops. Do you have a complaint you'd like to share with Capcom? Um... I don't think I don't think they're any more greedy. <laughs> I've got a lot of reasons not listed above. I don't think they're too money oriented. Like they're still out there dropping sixty dollar titles. Try and flinch you'd make content to begin with, but like Monster Hunter World, now I'm a full time content creator. <laughs> Missing the option for a released rise. I mean. You know, I, I want them to release titles more often, but I know it's difficult for them to do that. What is this question? We welcome all your support for Capcom, yes or no? It depends on how Capcom acts. What does that mean? Yes. All right, hold on. I just gonna turn off the thing. I don't want to get doxxed. I worry it's gonna show my age and email and all that stuff if I click click next. Do I have any final comments? Please release monster. Hunter 4 Ultimate on modern platforms. It's one of the few Monster Hunter titles that never had a proper HD treatment. And it will be gone for good in just one month. Thank you. Love you. I got a wallpaper. They're sending it to me. Why will it be gone? It is a 3DS exclusive title and the 3DS shop and multiplayer servers and everything are shutting down in, um, in March. It'd be gone, man. I don't understand my, <laughs> they sent me a card? It has the Phoenix Wright objection as my super move. It's supposed to be a wallpaper for your cell phone. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be using HD Vespoid Queen. I mean, I, I really, really love the first four Phoenix Wright games and the two Edgeworth spinoff titles. Everything else sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like really bad. It's not good. Can only use one hammer move combo. What would you use? What the hell sort of question is that? 
oops all super pound, I guess. Am I going to do Lance? Probably. I mean, triple pound into a golf swing used to be fine. Is the ID not supposed to be unique? Oh, I guess not. Well, hello, my Phoenix Wright Monster Hunter brother. <laughs> How are you? Akiva. <laughs> That's really funny. To find out that it's not unique by seeing that your streamer has the exact same image and be like, wait a second! I got the same image! After this, we're gonna start farming Velcana. I forgot about that. We do need to do that. Uh, you're a servant for a goblin lady? You can send it to me. I mean, as a Capcom video game enjoyer and obvious monster hunter man child, I don't have too many complaints. Like, I didn't like Rise. And I think waiting for as long as Milds as we are is like kind of excessively long, but at least when the games come out, they are good, usually. So for you can be emulated and there are ways of playing it with other people, Coopmaster. But That still limits a lot of people. Ghouls and Ghosts on the Commodore? I didn't know it got released on the Amiga. That's really neat. You're in my walls eating my insulation? I thought I heard scratching. So you gotta like bomb or do something to these little flesh tubes to cause them to shrink before you run on them. Got use your comment ask for for you. I mean, for you would not be anywhere. It would even be a third as popular as World. But for like Monster Hunter, like mega fans, it would last us for two years. There's a guy in Japan who still streams for you every day. <laughs> like, like he is still streaming it on a very regular basis. Isn't insulation nutritious? In the United States, there's fiberglass in our insulation. I think that will... I'm not a doctor. I think you'll die from eating it. I love fiberglass. If you can digest fiberglass, it's, it's maybe edible. Definitely, if we did for some miracle get a for you in in March, that would last us until Milds in 2025. I would forgive that. Everything is edible once. For some reason, when I think of when I see that comment, I'm reminded of the people that really want to eat lava. 
people that want to scoop up a big handful of lava and swallow it. I mean, there's probably a certain amount of magma you can eat before you're not, like, dead. <laughs> I assume it would just obliterate. I mean, it's just rock, right? Would it taste like rock? Or would it just not taste like anything because it would immediately incinerate your taste buds? No, I don't have headphones on, Shop. I, they're on my desk. I can hear them on my desk, but I don't have them on my head. Why is there so much? Why are there so many calories in bleach? What's bleach made of? Ammonia? I thought ammonia was the one thing you're not supposed to mix with bleach. I guess when you you break it down to burning, I guess everything has some calories. <laughs> well, I hope they actually, I mean, I don't think they would bother making a website collecting survey information unless they were actually planning on reviewing said survey information. You gotta microdose the lava in bleach. Luzi, hello, good evening to you. Alright, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna farm up Velcana. I just realized like we need We need the head chest, tacit, and legs, probably. You like the gloop song? Yeah, Eddie's you know, the people that like Eddie, like Eddie. Well, that's weird. We can make Zora things. Probably like this is what I'll do. But um I'm definitely making this three piece. The head and the chest are definitely gonna get made. Does that mean it returns, abandons, or allowed, or not allowed? Uh, we have a no coward rule. If I'm returning because I'm running away, I can't do that. 
if I'm returning because I was specifically going out there to farm one thing, that's fine. Uh, this isn't layered armor. You're looking at Damascus. It's Damascus armor. Timeout is a loss? Well, I don't know about that, but... I think we're going to farm a uh, Melda Ice Resistance Deco. What MR am I? 37? Good luck with Fatalis if I get to him tonight. I hope I do. Love me? Thank you. Love you too. Sleep well. I'll leave out an extra plate of... Um, Insulation for you to munch on in the morning. <laughs> Alright, so we should be able to get 20 ice resistance. That's nice. That makes things easier. There's a chance we could end up timing out on... Fatalis. And, like, I'm okay with that. Yeah. That ends up happening. Because we still at least survived. Get more of that mega demon drug. But if timeout counted as a card or a fail, then it would count as a time. <laughs> How sort of question is it? Then it would count as a fail then. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> then it would. What does it even mean? You'll make it count then? Okay, if you're doing the runs, you can count it however you want. So good chance that we'll get a Velcana crystal out of this. I will use a single voucher. This is a really good investigation. Buenas. We're probably gonna have to get more. Probably have to do. Armor sphere guy? Probably. Put him in a fucking bench, right? It's just like it would be very anticlimactic to end a no carding run by being like, oh I timed out the runs over, versus just doing it again. I mean, a timeout on a Latron, you're just dead anyways. in college that had a uh, had Crohn's. He needed special food from the dining hall, I think. This was really messing him up. If I ever timed out with not in a challenger speedrun. Oh, I've timed out to Fatalis before, definitely. Okay. 
I would assume most people, as they're learning Fatalis, have timed out at least once. That was the biggest issue when people were fighting him the first night. It was really the timeout more so than anything. People still time out. That's all he has rare. So the reason for breaking the Valkana wings is to get a triple break for uh, flinch. You break the head, wings, and front legs. Uh, you get a special flinch. Right now, I'm not even going to bother for it. I'm just going to go for hitting the head. This is the Damascus armor set, and this is the Frostbane hammer. Oh, poor little frozen guy! Oops, that exploded next to me. a hard time against Fatalis for making a heavy bowgun build for him? You think heavy bowgun is going to be easier for you than your other weapons? Interesting. Let me know how that works out for you. You just need to start charging your hammer and you'll get a little float, a little airtime MJ Phillips. Over here, maybe? Now I have another bright moss. There we go. Well, all right, his head is in the ground, which is a bit of a problem. I didn't mean to slide there. But I get the wet fish scales from? There's a quest. It's like MR2, it's an event quest. It's on the first page. It says something about wet fish scales. A fish to whet your appetite. Thank you. And you get them from that first little pond area, right when you come out of camp one, and then there's also one in the central camp. That's a lot of damage.
Yeah, we're gonna see a Nova eventually, I think. Oh, nervous over there. Jesus. Making me sweat, Velcana. Can I change directions like that mid-air? Uh, when you're charging and holding in a direction, you can switch directions. Oops. I, I, I messed it up that time. Die a thorn alone. That was a, that was a little nerve wracking at, at points. Excuse me. Okay. I think it's insane that. That survey only had Monster Hunter Rise characters and no Monster Hunter World characters. Why would they do that? It had Vespoid. <laughs> Somebody made sure that Vespoid was listed. I mean, I would say, I mean, look, like it or not, how the game was written, the handler is a massive part of the story of Monster Hunter World, AKA like the best selling Capcom title ever. Other than, like, maybe Street Fighter 2. That was a run? It's okay, we had a mildly scary moment with Valkana in a tunnel, but it was okay. This Wilds band? No. Wilds is fine. Pig bioenergy, yeah. Is there a reason I'm using Frostfang instead of Egg Hammer to farm Vilcana? Sounds like backseating. I don't have an elementalist deco. Otherwise, Kulu would win by far.
Ryoza told us to go back and play Monster Hunter World, and it worked. We're like, okay, we should. You don't think Resident Evil made world-breaking sales? I mean, as an individual title, it didn't. We <laughs> never stop. Yeah, that's fair and true. Hmm, still need it. Oh, we should break a wing then, huh? We need a wing. It's pretty much just a wing. Straight backseating has to be one of a streamer's biggest pet peeves. Some, some streamers claim they're okay with it, but they're not. They're just lying to you. <laughs> if they say they're okay with it, they're they're just... They, they, either they're lying or they're too broken down. <laughs> they've just been ground into a paste and like they've just given up. I'll keep fighting it. All right, so let's try and get that wing. So we'll do it differently this time. This will be a little bit different. Lethal Frag is the nicest streamer ever and he don't care. He cares. When he gets off the stream, he screams, cries, and he like punches a hole through his drywall. <laughs> Fuck it! I was telling me what to do! Frag was a chef, you think backseating gets to him? Well, was he was he on the line or was he the chef? Because if he was the chef, he's the one that would do the backseating. You try walking to a chef's kitchen, you tell him what to do. See, that'll work out for you. Let me know how that butthole is. <laughs> Leave a frag used to have a no back seating rule. I, and, I, and that's like I said. He probably just gave up. He's like, I can't do it. I can't beat beat the backseaters, so I'll just let him do it. Oddly enough, by allowing backseating, you probably get so much terrible advice that it all cancels itself out anyway. He's not gonna hit anything. But for real? Second chances are possible? Move! God damn it!
He's tweaking. Am I able to charge in Monster Hunter 1? Yep. Pretty sure it was always a base mechanic. It could not KO though. KO was introduced in Monster Hunter's Dose or Monster Hunter 2. Whatever you want to call it. I was aiming for the cat. That was a little scary. What the fuck, Fatality? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a, I am famously a lover and not a very good one at that. Not a fighter. I would never cause physical harm to anyone. Mental harm by getting mocked and then banned? Yes. Uh, I do that, like, nearly daily. One guy at the start of the YouTube stream today just said, you're late. And I already knew he was permabanned on Twitch, and then I just permabanned him on YouTube. Those, those were his last words. Just done. Sorry, you unsponsored, I don't know, maybe YouTube premium watcher? Your free content didn't arrive exactly on the hour. I apologize. I will, I will make sure to shift my entire life schedule to be here the extra 15 minutes early next time. Drama, hello. I ran a fight club as a kid? I used to get in a, a good number of fights in my youth, but I, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not beating up middle schoolers on the daily. <laughs> Too old now. I can't. I can't get into any fights now. I would. I would immediately crumple. But when I was younger, yeah. I mean, you know, there's. I'm sure that you know. Probably most of the conflict in modern life is from like e bullying, which is a real shame. Because usually after a after a physical fight, there's like a, a mutual respect for one another, whether you win or lose. I'm not encouraging kids to get into fist fights as opposed to not physical fights. There's a, there's a little bit of glory and valor and taking it to fisticuffs. There's a school in my state that had a whole lot of people getting fired because a teacher was basically running a fight club. But that wasn't right because they were they were pushing kids into fights that didn't want to fight. No, nah, I mean it's one thing if the kids want to fight each other, but if like they don't want to fight, like they shouldn't be fighting.
I do a flying spinny attack and a flat service. It's a weird mechanic to do with Velcon as ice. You start spinning on it. Because it is slippery, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if it does that for any other monsters other than Velcana. I don't think it does it for any other monsters, but... I could be wrong. This is a cursed position for the head. Mr. Drill Blackout, hello, good evening. Watching me fight monsters makes this game look easy. Um. I mean, it's only because of experience. I mean, you could you could play the game not even as much as I have and be really good at it, if not better than me at it. If you deliberately practiced a specific weapon on a specific monster. I'm doing all right. I had a, what was it? Garlic mushroom pizza with a lemon basil salad for dinner. Can't complain. I even had a rare glass of wine. I don't normally drink wine, but I felt like a glass of wine tonight, so I had one. Am I married? I am. Does that sound like a does that sound like married man food? There's no bachelor out there eating eating like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I was in Japan on my own, I mean, it would have been like I ate a pound of fatty uh, beef, almost crapped my pants, and then I got an egg salad sandwich at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> I do most of the cooking, Coop Master. I'm not saying I do all of the cooking, but I, I do the like 80, 80 to 90 percent of it. I mean, I, I like it. Like, I really, I don't really mind cooking. I, I understand people get, like, hangups over it. Did that happen? Fume, I have to be abundantly clear. I never pooped in the river. But. It was close. No, I never did it. Would I call myself a house husband? Uh, I contribute financially to the household. At least as much. I mean, I'm not going to get into our salaries, but. I do okay. <laughs> I did not, I did not poop on the party barge. But I mean, I do, I take care of the bills. I do the shopping. I do the cooking. Uh, what other chores are there? I take out the garbage. I don't do the laundry and I don't do the dishes.
Do housewives not contribute to it? I thought you were saying like, all I do, I'm banning you. There you go. Now you can talk in Twitch chat. No, I didn't do longsword already. And if you can't talk in Twitch chat, then I was right in banning you in the first place. <laughs> the Twitch chat is saying they don't want you. I mean, I don't mind doing dishes. I, I 50% of the time I help unload the dishwasher, which I mean, that's something. That's not nothing. I might just do that Velcana one more time because it's kind of fun and it does give HR. I don't know what he was getting into, but uh, I didn't like it. And he was trying to bait me or something into like saying something about housewives and income. And so I just banned him instead. That's fine. I don't want him. Unless you've got universal praise in the YouTube chat, I am just banning you immediately. <laughs> I need five more HR. Uh, we, we might make four-piece Velcana, Relof. Do I not miss the coziness of the cart? <laughs> the children yearn from the mines? Alright, we'll do one more. I was gonna take a look at my Celestial tickets, but like, we may as well just do it. Might have to sub soon? I'm just happy you're watching, man. If times are tight, just enjoy it. I, I could even recommend the YouTube stream. It might be of slightly higher quality and less ads. But I'm happy you're watching me on Twitch. Don't I get more income from Twitch? I don't really, I don't really care about people. I am not, you are not a metric in a spreadsheet that I am like min maxing for income. I could, I have a master's in economics. I could absolutely do that. However, I do not do that. It's despite, despite opinions to the contrary. Won't reveal my YouTube name in case I get banned there. Honestly, good call. Does a Twitch Turbo do anything for me? Uh, you are always watching ads. You are, you are considered as, as an ad watcher. Bubbles and ZMTL, thank you. I'm not saying every streamer out there that asks for subs is a snake. I'm just saying that any moderate to large size streamer that isn't doing bounties is either being lazy or being a snake when they ask you for your money. Large is over 100? Um, let's say like 250. <laughs> 300 maybe? I don't know. Maybe they got a drug problem or some other major financial impairment. Do I have any kids? Nope. I'd love to have an animal at some point, but my wife's allergic. So far, I have chosen her over having an animal. Well, sometimes it's close. I watch a lot of cat videos. Be my animal. <laughs> I'm sure that's someone's fetish. Is it okay to ask how old I am?
Can I just can I just say no? <laughs> Twenty nine years old. I just admitted on stream that my first Capcom video game was Mega Man 2 on the Nintendo Entertainment System, okay? I ain't no Gen Alpha. <laughs> and I'm probably not a Zoomer either. I don't have a uh, poster of Baby Gronk on my wall. I have not done a skibbity toilet in quite some time. First Capcom game was Megman 2. You played it on your Wii. That sounds great. Uh, we've considered getting a hypoallergenic cat, but even then it may not work. She's like allergic to their saliva. Just don't consume the cat saliva. <laughs> How are you supposed to have a cat and not put its head in your mouth on a regular basis? I thought that was the whole point of having a cat. Oh, we got another banging coming. No, I don't have a cat. I just, the whole reason we're having this conversation Where to go. There's something about a certain viewership count where it's like everyone is showing up to class late. It's not my problem. You showed up late. You're asking for me to teach you calculus. You missed all of algebra. I'm not going back the lesson. You watch the YouTube. <laughs> Reptiles hypoallergenic. I don't want a little lizard guy crawling around my house and like looking at me. You know, I, like I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings that's got like a little wizard, but I, I don't want a little like nutsack looking thing scurrying around my floor like looking at me asking for like insects. I'm sorry, man. I'm not hating. Not a lot of people are going to get real mad at me. You can have, I'm sure they make great pets. <laughs> my buds? I'm sure reptiles are great. If I had to go with a non-mammal, I would probably get a bird. I'm not getting a turtle. I want a dog or a cat. Am I getting anything? We're so good at this game. Get a catfish. So I have something that can slurp blort me? No thanks. I'm good. bit of a weird hitbox. Pet armadillo. You know what would be a great talking piece? A pet pangolin. 
Like, oh yeah, this is the thing that they said caused COVID to exist. He's my pet now. Can't make it. Trying to, trying to get him. Just always sneezing on my pangolin. Let's go, 2025. You rode on your first float for a parade in New Orleans. That sounds like a fun time. But I consider Mortis a pet. I have some emotional bonding with Mortis. He's definitely helped me a lot over these runs. He's probably saved me a couple times. He definitely saved me against Toby on one of my runs. What about Moritz? Uh, Moritz too. I like Moritz. Now you say kids, I thought there was like a lot of boobs and stuff in, <laughs> during New Orleans parades. No? Not that I think a kid will be traumatized for life if they see a pair of boobs, but... Americans do be kind of like that. Gonna be Moritz, or I'm, I'm gonna try and keep him the Mortis next time. But I kind of like Moritz. The kid, the parents would be more traumatized. They think the kid will be damaged forever, and the kids are just like, whatever, boobs. Like really not that big of a deal. Nice golf swing finish there. Huh? I mean, obviously people shouldn't be like banging in the streets, but the amount of like mental issues that probably a lot of people get, male and female, from like this obsession over hiding boobs is, is not healthy. Well, we got a mantle. Is a latch around tonight? Probably. Am I building four piece Vilcana for a latch round? I am. Yeah, I am. I am doing that. I still kind of want to get decorations. Can I help build it? <laughs> Are you Bob the Builder? I can build it. Are you asking me if I need your help? No. Would I use Safi, Jeeva, and Two-Piece Falcana if I could? Probably not. There's a... Without health augment, like, that would be really scary. Well, is it worth it to use the spin move when trying to topple a Latreon? Yes. It is worth using that move. Oh, I still need a Legiana Mantle as well. Oh, for the chest? I mean, you Ice Bloom for Decos. Uh, you know, maybe we can do a couple Ice Blooms. It's not a terrible idea, right?
Dude, I saw so much violence in video games, like old ass video games, but like so much violence as a child. And it's like, it comes to boobs on TV. It's like, whoa! Did I get the Diablos? I don't know, let's see. We can do that Bloom quest to reset, I get, I guess. Maybe we've got like Botanist or something. We can make like a, make like a gathering set. Nope. You can see boob ads every night in Germany. <laughs> Have you ever played Hunting Horn? I've played it before, yeah. Am I allowed to abandon a quest if it looks sketchy? I have a no coward rule. So we can't abandon if it's looking like we're about to die. In that regard. Hmm. All right, yeah, we'll do a couple of those frost blooms. It's not a bad idea. Just to get a couple of level four. Maybe we'll get the heavy artillery plus. We'll try and get the middle cave as well. Good night, ZMTL. Traumatized by Teletubbies. I was involved in an assault on Barney the Dinosaur as a child. He was advertising for, like, a local... I think it was a clothing store. My brother and I saw him and we're like, get him! And I think it made the news. It's like two young children attacked the, the dinosaur. Because like the news was there for the opening of the store. I feel a little bit bad about it. I mean, we were children. Did we beat him up? I mean, we hit his costume. Is that my first monster hunting experience? It's before I ever played Monster Hunter. Maybe I was destined for this. Do you need geology or do you need botanist for the extra blooms? Was it the I don't think it was the real Barney actor. Can't imagine it was. The geology? You need two pieces? I <laughs> wall bang Barney. Yes. I clawed onto his face. Punched him and then shot rocks into his head. So geology and botany count together. Mm. Base. <laughs> and then when he was on the ground, I did a spinning hammer spin into him and tenderized him. Honestly, not bad decos. And like, we don't even have gear for this. Leona, I taught... I ta I <laughs> taught the jump shark. Oh my god, teaching the jump shark would be horrible. I told the jump shark story like less than a week ago. I'm not going to tell it again. I can't tell it every time. I know it's your favorite. Yeah.
you missed it. Well, you have to wait another week. Alright, you're gonna have to wait another week. Even one point of botany would be okay. Oh, maybe we got some in high rank? Yeah, it's on cooldown. I like that. But we can actually. Oh, that's great. I might be able to make the geologist uh, charm. Oh, I can just get two Shamos shards? We'll just do that. Oh, but then I won't have Master Gatherer. No! Well, maybe we'll figure it out. Let me just, let me check the charms first. <laughs> Passing knowledge to the generations. I, I want to make it clear. The kid still want, wanted to be friends. Like he still wanted to hang out and play Goldeneye all the time. It wasn't like a major league. It was more traumatizing for me than it was him. Now, if I was successful, he might've been traumatized. And if I was following the mid-air delusions that you guys have and I was just like flying through the air naked <laughs> and sharded on his actual face, then yes, that would have been traumatizing. All right, this is perfect. Dude, he was coming to my house asking to play Goldeneye. I wasn't going to his house. I wasn't like pushing my ass up against his door. Like, I swear to God, I'll do it. <laughs> I swear. We need Toby Kadachi, and we could just do a lot of these. Maybe we'll do that. I'll do it again! <laughs> I don't... Oh! Oh, that's a Viper one. Alright. No, I did not... Why do you gotta do a crossover with me? I never killed a goat. I was, all right, as far as the goat goes, if the police were involved, I probably would have been brought in for questioning. <laughs> but I didn't do it, I'm innocent. How's your favorite streamer doing? I'm doing all right. I did leave the country and I haven't been back that much since. I don't think I'm going back till next year. I, I, there needs to be fiber optic internet in that house where I'm not going. The meeting? Well, the meeting's not in Italy, man. It's in Japan. There's probably only going to be one before Wilds. No one cares about Italy? If chat thought I might be with a goat again, they would rather I go to Italy probably than to Japan again.
Going to Italy soon? Where are you going? Well, if there's anyone here, no joke, if you are, if you have a Japanese residency card, and you're down with me to give you the cash for getting a SIM card using your Japanese residence, I'll go. But I can't, I can't go on my own, own again without having one of those. You can buy a temporary sim, but it's something like, it's like $25 for 50 gigs. Which is like, it's not the end of the world, but it's pretty expensive. And, and like really inconvenient. It's more the inconvenience than anything else. What hammer is this? It's not a mod. This is just the Frostbang hammer. Well, I do Raging Bracky. Nope. Blast isn't that good on Fatalis. I'm not saying Raging Bracky weapons are bad. They're not. They're good. But it's a little dangerous. We have anti-blast decos. So, like, maybe it would be all right. But he takes ice damage. Not that it really matters with hammer. Not like you're doing a lot of element. I think fire is actually technically better than ice on him. Oddly enough. I know it's weird. Raging is scarier than Elatrion? I don't know. If you've got enough defense and you've got full anti-blast, he's probably not going to kill you. Yeah, Raging, there's really nothing that's keeping you from playing safe. You can play as safe as you want against him. I have not done a Charge Blade run yet. I'll do one eventually, but it's probably not the next weapon we'll be doing. That's three pods. I don't have any traps. <laughs> uh, okay.
feel like DirectX 11 makes lighting on monsters look extra bright. Is that just me or does he seem like he was glowing like crazy? It's pretty bright. I think it's a DirectX 11 thing. I think DirectX 12, it's not as crazy. Doesn't he get brighter? I just mean relative to normal mastering Toby. Just the how bright it gets. It was crashing in DirectX 12, Zany. I was getting crashes. And I rolled back to a driver where DirectX 11 is stable, so I'm just playing like this. This is the only game I've ever played where it's like... You have to play around with DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 on whether it's more or less stable. And then some drivers, they're both bad. The current driver I'm on right now, DirectX 12 is crashing periodically, but... The most recent driver, DirectX 11, will also look bad. Did I get a membrane? I did. Okay, good. Graphic-wise, they look the same. It was really stable for a while for me, Powerhouse, but... We had, like, two crashes in one stream the other day. I just can't do it. There was. It was something like DX12 or whatever. Some message that looked like DX12, etc., etc., Hold on a second. That's fine. I was going to check to see if the Diablos showed up, but whatever. No, the HDR porn, man. I had to roll back that driver instantly. That was like day one I had to roll it back. I was like Icarus staring at the sun. And then it just crashed immediately. That was really sad. Let's play a different game? Albino Donkey, have you seen it? Does your monitor have HDR? You know, I do have extra PCs I could set up. I'm not saying it's life changing, of course, it's just it's just pornography, but it's bad HDR. It's the first time I've ever been like HDR is worth it. It's my OLED screen. I mean, uh, that's not a lot of HR, but it is really fast. Like, it is insanely fast how quickly you can do this. Oh, we want to be checking this. Oh, he's there. Oh, we're so lucky. Oh. I mean, you need a a decent graphics card. I think it has to be an RTX graphics card to get the video enhancement. But I would assume at this point, most people have either an RTX card or like a, t a 1080 
and they're just like waiting. <laughs> they're holding on for as long as they can. Which I mean, I don't blame you. The people that got really screwed is you got a 3000 series graphics card. Nvidia should have just sent you a, a new one for free because God knows you got gouged. It's messed up, man. Yeah, I guess if you were there for retail, it was probably all right. You know, I kind of want to try out uh, that frame gen. I wonder if it's better than the frame gen that's already in Monster Hunter World. I wonder if I can do like 4K 120. Not that I have a 4K 120 screen. Well, you got your stuff from Micro Center, Toad, so I'm pretty sure you didn't get screwed. How much VRAM do you have in your 1070 Ti? I'm sure it's like at least 8 gig. Oh. Good night, Fium. Getting late? It's been two and a half hours. You had to drive to Yonkers? Well, you might have had a good time driving out there. If you planned it, you probably could have gotten a pizza or something out there. What was it, like two hours? Oh God, Ikea and Micro Center combo trip? Absolutely worth your time. Yeah, I mean, uh, 5080 when it comes out, assuming NVIDIA does not get insanely greedy again, which like, let's not kid ourselves, but assuming it's reasonable would, would be a good upgrade. I might go insanely bougie on the next one if they, and if they have a 5090, I'll get that one. Cause I kind of held back on the 4000 upgrade. Cause I didn't really want a big upgrade. I only got like a mini upgrade. But we might actually be approaching a future where Twitch and YouTube can handle like high resolution, high frame rate streams. Like imagine being able to stream at 4K 120. That'd be so nice. Hardcore blindfolded Alatrion. No, so it's not, it's a um, AV1 thing that you'd be able to do. The limits are all on Twitch. On YouTube, I could stream at 4K if I really wanted. Where my 4,000 Elatrion kills. I don't know, 
many Alatrian kills I have. I have a, a naked Alatrian run I did that I'm, I'm fairly proud of. Guardian weapon, naked Alatrion. Hmm. I don't know if you'll have enough damage. Even with Fortify. I know you meant Defender. Crack a hammer, thanks, man. I've been playing Grand Blue. I refunded my copy of the game, and this has upset a number of Grand Bluebies. The Grand Babies are pissed. <laughs> I should collab with Asmongold? Uh, I don't. I don't know if Asmin would be into collabing. I would. I would do it probably, but after hearing the story about the the rat alarm, man, I'm just. I've been like scarred in ways I didn't know were, were still possible. I had vulnerabilities. And now like, I gotta think about that all the time. Don't look it up. How, how strong, how often am I in strong charge? I only really do strong charge when like, I got nothing else to do. Don't look, don't look it up. For him, it was specifically like time to stream. When his room smelled like rat, it's stream time. <laughs> How would you focus? He's not a young man anymore. He's not like his early 20s, like. Your immune system is only so strong. <laughs> Smells like World of Warcraft. I guess maybe he's got the strongest immune system known to man. Meanwhile, I'm like, little beta boy got COVID twice and I've been laid out. So who's, who's really laughing now? It's not me. I mean, I at least had like a backup career if this whole internet clown thing didn't work out. I mean, I still could go back to it, I guess. I wouldn't really want to. But I do have a master's degree and I do have lots of pertinent work experience. Oh, it was like eight years of finance experience. But assuming Miles isn't delayed until 2026, we should be okay. But 
Wait, has been worked for the IRS? I didn't know that. That's depressing. He must have hated that. <laughs> he must have. I can't imagine that was a fun job. Hardcore naked? I was thinking of hardcore randomizer. I don't think hardcore naked would make it very far. Maybe Xeno Jiva? Things hit really hard in Master Rank. Trying to get one more shiny. It's fun killing things with an actual golf swing. I think we got enough. I think we got enough everything. We might have to get a couple more mining things. disappointed all right well this armor this hammer will be fully upgraded what i really want is just a couple weakness exploit decos I used to get backseated so much, Jimmy, um, years ago, playing this game, people freaking out that I'm not using the full hammer charge every single time. And it's like, the hammer charge is good, don't get me wrong, but it's only 7% more raw. You know, think about how many of the exact same move you'd have to do over and over again to equal 7% more damage. Now, I know that's additive or multiplicative with other stuff. What is your favorite monster fight in any Monster Hunter game? I like Nergigante. You unlock this hammer after beating Shara. I just feel like if charging your hammer not that it takes a long time but if this would have cost like the final hit or like one more hit i just feel like it's not worth it and no i tested it the other day and someone confirmed it with data mining it's seven percent it's nergigante my favorite uh i voted for nergigante in the capcom survey that was out today that was like, who is your favorite Capcom character? <laughs> yes? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Do you think I've got a secret other favorite monster? <laughs> no, I was lying the whole time. It is actually Lavazioth. You've all been fooled. You actually, they didn't let you vote for the Admiral. Nobody likes Spiky Boy. Uh, I think that's a you problem, man. Most people I talk to like him. How high up on my list is Kezu? Having replayed through the series several times. Uh, 
they could remove Kezu forever, and I think it would be better. He's just not a good monster. He's fun to look at, I guess, and he's really popular in Japan. They call him Fudu Fudu in Japan. But he's just not very fun to fight in, in the old games or very much in the modern games. I mean, he's, you know, he's pretty much, he was designed in the era of Monster Hunter 1, like 2004 era monster design. And he's never really grown up from that. Gypsaros was a better fight. Gypsaros is an amazing fight that has only gotten better. I mean, his running around is a little annoying, but not that bad. We need one more Serene Crystal. I think we'll just back out. Kezu or Giganox? How is that a question? How could you be sitting there at your computer? Kezu or Giganox? <laughs> it's like... No, I'll take the Kezu! He looks like a pee-pee more. <laughs> He's just screaming or he, you can't get near him. In some games, he's also not only, uh, he was there in the early games to be like, brother, why have you not made a light bow gun or a heavy bow gun? Because his shot hit zone was a lot better too. Same thing with Gypsaros. Like it was, the early games weren't necessarily like, oh, you can use whatever weapon you want. They very much assumed that you were going to be using multiple weapons. Now we got what we needed. Make sure that's it. Like, try fighting Diablos with Hammer or Hunting Horn in Freedom Unite. Like, try to clear four horns with, like, Hunting Horn? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, with, like, level appropriate gear, like, high rank only. Has Huntress been playing Monster Hunter World, Albino? Collab stream. Am I playing a big TV or a monitor? I am on, I think, is this a 24, 27 inch OLED monitor? 27 inch, I'm on a 27 inch uh, OLED. And then I have a second 20 inch monitor for my chat and then I have another 27 inch monitor for OBS. I have three monitors that I use when I stream. 20 inches small? <laughs> we got uh, Twitch's number one size queen in chat. 20 inches isn't enough for you? You got Bad Dragon VIP over there? Fucking, he's out there getting like 30 inch PVC pipes <laughs> and foam covering. <laughs> Sorry, I only have what I have. Uh, the monitor was on sale after Black Friday, it was $600. I'm happy with it for the $600. There are better, mo there were better monitors out when it came out and there's definitely better stuff coming out at CES. But like checked all the boxes, OLED, 27 inches, 1440p, 240 Hertz. You know, I'm not looking to, I'm not, I was not looking to run at 4K until the 5090 is out. I don't think I'll be running anything in 4K. Why do I keep doing this collecting quest? Uh, it's just to get some decorations and to get some HR. We're going to do the Rathian quests a couple times as well. But it would be nice to get one level 4 deco out of it. Definitely. It 
It is really fast. It's real fast. And it's like the HR gain compared to Raffian is actually just about as good. Uh, when I'm not streaming for Riscos, I prefer to play on a TV on a couch or on a couch with my uh, Steam Deck. Sometimes in bed, but not usually in bed. There is a 77-inch OLED that I was looking at that I was thinking about buying, but... It's kind of expensive. I don't really know where I would put it. It would have to go in this basement. It would take up a lot of room. Do I have a couch just for gaming on my Steam Deck? Depends on the season. I don't really go into the sunroom until the spring. The living room couch? Oh, hold on. There's two living rooms. Uh... The L-shaped couch living room? Yeah, 77 inches is big. I mean, I would say nowadays 65 inches is kind of the standard. I'm loaded. I've barely even touched the money that I won from the Capcom competition. I upgraded my computer. I spent like $2,000, I guess, getting the monitor and upgrading the computer. Which is nice. I definitely appreciate the colors on the OLED more. Not that it's like insanely vibrant all the time, but I do like it. I mean, I'm here, you know, over 40 hours a week. It is a business write-off. Unless the IRS says, like, I'm sitting down with the IRS agent. And he's like, have you or have you not ever used this for HDR pornography? Then I'll be in trouble. This is a good decoration. This is a really good decoration. Gobbler expert is good. Really good. Good, good, good. Which Capcom competition? Uh, the Street Fighter VI New Challenger tournament. There were three teams. VTuber team, Resident Evil team, Monster Hunter team, a.k.a. Team Swagnamala. <laughs> we won. The Monster Hunter team won. Justin Wong was our coach. What was the prize? Um, almost, it was like $15,000 split four ways. It's a lot of money. For me, it was a lot of money. I don't know about the other streamers because some of them didn't even practice. Maybe they're, they're in a ranking of stream money that I couldn't even comprehend. <laughs> you know? It's possible they're making, they're really making the money. I, I really don't know. But to me, $4,000 is a lot of money. So I practiced a lot. I put in maybe 50 hours, 60 hours of practice for the tournament. Something like that. No, it was point-based. Every team essentially played every other team once. I'm not going to claim to be a real expert on the rule set, and I apologize for that. But it was it was point-based. Every All the players and all the coaches played as well. The coaches played against the coaches. And there was like a final wild card round that was like... <laughs> you played against the coaches, the players played against the coaches. I mean, I got... Did I get one hit off? On was it? I want to say Katsu Kitty. It's not Katsu Kitty. Quitty? Justin lost a round. Justin lost a set, I think. But Kizzy K. Um, thank you. 
I, I got I got a hit off on Kizzy K as, as Zangief. I got in and I got a uh, an SPD off on him. Justin was a great coach. Definitely. But I, I would say he he really helped us win. But I mean, I, I'm ashamed to admit it. Our, our victory is also very attributable to the other teams, like just not taking it seriously for some reason. My understanding to the rule set box press was that you were only allowed to run one character. My understanding is also you were supposed to be wired only. Which was not the case for all of the players. I lost a round to a player that uh, was on one bar Ethernet Wi Fi. One bar Wi Fi. $4,000 is a lot of money. There were a lot of Kens. There was a JP. There was a Honda. Ironically, I picked. Zangief because I thought Twitch chat would find it entertaining. But yet, my understanding is that Twitch chat as a whole was upset that I was playing Zangief. They thought Zangief was like an overpowered character. Which I will say for like people that haven't played the game, he's pretty damn strong. Scrubs hate grapplers. I mean, it's not easy getting in a range. Now, Snake Eyes is like a different tier of players, so he can play Zangief and he makes Zangief do things that other people can't do. He doesn't have that much more HP, he's never ought to. That's that's a bit of a, a misunderstanding. He's only got like 10% more health. It's not a lot more health. The mind games when you do Zangief against Zangief is amazing. Right, I'm gonna do like one more of these and then we'll start trying to level up again. Marissa is insane. I've seen like really good Marissa players. I mean, she can almost kill you from one combo. It's, it's unbelievable. There was one person, again, I'm not starting internet beef. Don't tell anyone I'm starting internet beef. But there was a dude in the tournament who still had his ranking as new challenger. And that makes me mad. Because, like, why would you do that to your teammates? What is the situation that ends that you end up in a tournament as new challenger? I'd be, I'd be fucking pissed, man. I, I would, I mean, I, I, I did tell my teammates they needed to practice more. <laughs> so I did yell at them a little bit. He might have been practicing on, like, console maybe, I guess. I don't know. And they did practice, though. I'm proud of my teammates. They did a good job. We won. So... Do I still play Street Fighter? I haven't really been doing too much in the last couple months. I got sick almost immediately after that tournament. I'm surprised I'm even able to play Monster Hunter the way I am. Been playing a stick? No, I played on a, on a pad. It was a new Challengers tournament. Very funny. <laughs> Hope I feel better. I'll be better by this time next year. Probably in another couple months. I think Monster Hunter on a box would be fun. <laughs> you kind of need two analogs. It was 15,000. I mean, I'm rounding up to 4,000. It wasn't exactly 4,000 RDC. It was 15,000 split four ways. 3,800, whatever. They paid us too. They paid us just to be a part of the tournament. When am I starting my treatment? 
The doctor's office hasn't called me, so I gotta call them. Naveguemos esto juntos. Probably have enough honey now, huh? I think it's good money. I mean, if you get, if you have a very large audience and you're getting pretty regular sponsorship offers, you know, $4,000 may not be a lot of money to you. As crazy as that sounds. You know, if you're rocking out with over a thousand concurrent viewers for a very long period of time and you're just getting constant bounty boards and sponsorship offers, maybe 4,000 is like just a joke. But I mean, I don't know. I'm like, I grew up too poor. <laughs> I, I, I had too little money growing up. If I saw $4,000, I'd still come running for it, you know? Was something similar for Tekken, would I do it? Probably. It wasn't 40,000. It was 4,000. Hold up, brother. 40,000, like, I'm going to get, like, kidnapped. 4,000. 4,000. Is my butthole emo a reference to the movie Society? No. I have not seen the movie. Is there a butthole in the movie Society? Have a fighting game of choice growing up? Street Fighter 2. <laughs> you can be like, wow, this guy's fucking ancient. Look like Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa! How's the fiber intake? How's your prostate doing? I played a lot of Third Strike in college. No, I don't I don't know about Shin Chen. Gapey was something I dreamed up on my own. Uh, that Scott Van Dusen drew based on my uh, oral description. Anal description. Third Strike is at Evo this year? I mean, I'm not saying I was ever good at it, but I did enjoy playing it. Oh, I'm there, man. He haunted me until I exercised him. <laughs> I want to see a random tournament. I want all random third strike. I was just thinking of like a mascot of Gapy. That's all. You watch an ex get a prostate exam once, is that weird? I mean, is it normal in Canada to watch other people get medical procedures? I don't know, I mean, Canada is mandatory. They make you watch. Oh, you're the significant other? We're going to need you to come in here and wear these VR goggles. <laughs> they start strapping the Apple Vision Pro on. They're like, we're going to go into full atmospheric mode. <laughs> Dude, the Duodenum DLC goes crazy. Well, without divulging his personal medical history, I just want to say, I hope his, I hope his prostate was okay. Ah, uh, uh, is he dead?
I was sneezing. I, I didn't look at the screen. I don't want to look at the screen while the screen while I'm sneezing because like I don't want to sneeze on it. The brand new monitor. How much HR do we need? We need to do this quest about four more times. Four more times isn't that bad. I have not bitten this monitor yet. I don't think I'm gonna bite this one. This one was a little expensive. Oh, I don't have a thing. What happened? The last time I bit a monitor, Jen looked at me like I was the craziest person she's ever seen. Like, I don't need that judgment. <laughs> she's right. You guys are hurting my feelings right now. I don't know that in a set. I mean, a girl's like like dangerous guys, like a bad boy. Name one other person who's bit their teeth. I mean, I can't be the only one. I don't think they dream up their bad boy biting a computer screen. Well, that's what you get. I mean, they think bad boy. They're like, oh, some guy that's going to drive real fast. And will protect me in a fight. But I'm sorry. What you get is somebody who screams a lot at the internet and then bites their monitors. You've bitten your phone? I mean, it's close. The hard part was... Like, I started getting teeth mark teeth marks on it, and it made it a little bit hard to see, like, all of the monitor, because there were teeth marks on it. So I, I, I use a different monitor now. I used to use that one, but I don't use it anymore. I, I bit it a couple times. Have you pulled an Adam driver and punched a hole in my wall? No. I would never do. I would never do physical acts of violence near Jen. But I, I mean, I don't know. Is it violent to bite the monitor? Maybe a little bit. What I said was... Chat... I got mad at chat for something, and I said, I'm going to bite you. And it was the monitor I used for chatting. I put it in my mouth and I bit it. It's on TV. Look, I will bite you, okay? If I see you, any one of you in real life, you're getting bitten. I didn't lie. Try and find the lie. So now there's teeth marks on it. Very mature. <laughs> very mature streamer. We're all very impressed at you biting the monitor. It's on the screen and on the bezel. I mean, it's it's a little a little bit of both. Am I going to need to do, like, an HR advancement quest? Do I have enough armor spheres Velcana armor? It's a really good question. Maybe we can do, like, a Zenogar or two? We do a Zenogar, maybe a Brute Tigrix? Brute Tigrix is probably a lot safer now. Chipped a tooth and had to go to a dentist? Why would you wish for me to chip a tooth? Because you think it'd be funny I have to explain to a dentist that I, I was biting a monitor? It's kind of a messed up thing to say. 
Uh, for HR, this is fa faster than Guiding Lands. MR, Guiding Lands. This, I mean, this doesn't even give you MR. I'm going to audit this guy. I'm going to put a, a, a mod comment under your user card. Wants me to chip a tooth. Timeout once. 500 seconds by Fume. Fume timed you out for 500 seconds? That's a bad look, man. I'm watching you. Yeah, you know, the you got the personification of kindness and humility <laughs> timing you out for five minutes. Rise yourself now. <laughs> this is the HR quest, Fog. Yeah, we're gonna do Steamworks and Elgar after this, probably. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do Brute Tiger. We've got a lot of defense now. At least it's getting late. Ugh. Golden monsters? Uh, you mean the shiny one? That means they're tempered. That means they deal extra damage. And generally they're there because they give decorations and stream stones or more decorations, but this class technically they don't really do that. They're just here for the HR. At least our research levels on Pink Rathian is going up. No, please don't. She's going up. All right. It's fine. I think the little cat guys are up here. It's not a bad thing. Man, doing this challenge when there's not an event up is really painful. We would save like maybe five minutes or five hours or more if we had the actual event up. Uh, like a festival? I don't think you can... 
clutch claw during this, right? Let me see that. Hmm. Have I considered? There have been a number of uh, Zumi and Zumi adjacents that have asked for a timer in the corner. No, I don't care. I like the relatively clean layout of the stream right now. You got a, you got a little micro Maldi in the corner. That's all. Do you need anything else? I don't think so. I have a streamer that I used to love to watch. He's probably one of the most listened to creators that I've ever seen in my life. And on his current stream, he had like at least three different branded deal trackers. There was like HelloFresh. There was like a mobile game sponsorship. Like I didn't even know you could run that many things at the same time. It was like Patreon was up on screen. It was crazy. I was like, bro, like your bill's good. <laughs> like, like what's happening, man? Who do you owe money to? Why do you got so many things on your screen? The IRS? Why don't I? I could. I guess. That would probably be the time. I don't know. I just don't care. Look, I've got a TurboTax slash Fall Guys ad that we will do at the end of the stream. So... No need to rush me. You're going to solo Fatalis naked? Good luck. Chilling the enemy. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> They're paying me. Maybe it'll equal the amount of money I lost by their HSA dedu deduction mistakes. <laughs> Don't tell them I said that. Festival lets you get tickets out of this thing. And better armor spheres. It's just better. You won't stop until you break one horn. I did first phase Fatalis naked once to show people it was possible. You, you get better armor though from the festival, Mr. Drool Bucket. Pretty sure you get, get more and better. I don't know, I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we have enough decorations for a Fatalis armor. I guess... May as well make it. So I need a Legiana mantle. Ooh, we could do Velcana on the arms. Mm. Uh, small Dong Shepherd, different guy. We could make Yan Garuga legs. They are really good. And then I only need to use one Leggy on a mantle. Had no idea I streamed. 
been streaming full time for over five years now, I think. October of 2018 is when I decided to try out being a full time clown. What's up, the mic drop? Like it it's pretty good someday i'll i'll drop down to like streaming five days a week and then some sometime after that i'll drop down to streaming like maybe like four days a week i, I think I'm, i don't think i'll ever stop streaming until like i'm too old or i poop myself too often <laughs> if that happens if i'm at the point where i can't make it through a stream without pooping myself we'll probably call it quits But for now, it's been good. Is this in the near future, me full-time pooping myself? <laughs> Is that no, I'm not phase camming? Do you think you would know? Like, just by my face? Like, it'd be like a game with chat. Like, is he pooping? Did he poop? Keep saying the five th days thingy? I don't know. Whenever I feel like it. Kind of depends what the doctors say. If the doctors say I should be taking it easy more often, maybe I'll go to five days. You need a massive puck race not to show you shit your pants. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be easy. Coil looks the worst. Peace. I guess I do have the full Garanjanoth Tacit, don't I? That will give me two points of uh, weakness exploit. It's just like the the legs are so pointless. I mean, crit draw isn't going to do anything for us. It's going to depend on what decorations we get from great Jagras. A, a micro frame off. The drill bucket thing. Whoa! <laughs> you must be really enjoying. That is like two streaming services worth of money to be a tier three sub. Thank you. I'm glad I'm worth at least one and a half to two Netflixes. I'm pretty much done. I'm thinking about canceling my Hulu Plus. I don't think I can do it anymore.
I'm pretty sure nowadays Jen's happy with just YouTube premium. What do I watch on Hulu? Uh, probably the best series I've seen on there is only murders in the building. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. There was three seasons. Uh, Netflix does have ad sponsored stuff. Yeah. It just feels like if you want to see anything, like you either gotta just straight up buy it so it's not on streaming. <laughs> or you gotta find some other way of watching it. Borrow a DVD from a local library. <laughs> Garuga is a possibility for an armor piece. Well, there was a while Netflix was actually having decent original content. But it's been forever since there was anything that was like Stranger Things quality. And I, I include Stranger Things in that. Stranger Things has not been good. Buster Scruggs was good. I watched that. I enjoyed it. Squid Game Season 2. Even squidier. What's going on with the guy's hair, man? There's a lot of stuff Rax does that we have not done. Did they end Wednesday? Wasn't Wednesday, like, popular? That'd be crazy. He's going through a phase. It's not a phase, Mom! Yeah, I mean, let's let's look. I mean, assuming we don't get a weakness exploit, Deco. I mean, flinch free and, and the legs and the tacit are equally bad. High metal bracers might be good arms. I've used those before, but um, yeah, they they might be a good choice. I have used them before for the ice and the uh, vitality. But the other thing is, is like we have um, we have the Shara arms, which are pretty good. It's going to depend on what Great Jagras gives us when we can fight him. Now let's try and do the Brute Tigrix. He's a little scary sometimes. We'll do him and then we'll finish off. Do, what, two more of the those other quests? He's a little scary. Yeah, he's definitely a little scary. Oh, 
I mean, we've got... I don't even know if we've got more damage now. We actually might have less damage. The thing is, is like... You don't really care about killing him. The important thing about Brute is just getting more shinies out of him. Like, actually killing him is not a... It's not a big deal. We're just in this weird phase with entertainment where it's like... Anything that would have been a decent movie is now like a 10 episode plus commitment. And even then, a lot of times the series are just bad anyways. You mostly just want to get wall bangs off, uh, Mr. Jewel Bucket. Now I'll say this, I did watch WandaVision, and I really liked WandaVision. I'm not like a huge Marvel fan, but that was okay. Well, like, I can't imagine the quality has kept up with the rest of the Marvel Cinematic stuff. There's no way. I checked out a Star Wars as soon as midichlorians were a thing, which proves that I'm actually a walking artifact. <laughs> a human artifact. Dude, whatever the Walking Dead did was insane. I saw a video on it. And like that was a guy, they let him cook too much. I don't know why. I don't know why they let that Walking Dead guy cook. They should have stopped and said, you got to get out of the kitchen, man. Those of you who don't know, like, they, they structured the episodes. The seasons were, were like two split seasons. It'd be like eight episodes, and each character would basically get their own main episode. You'd get two of them. But you'd be like in episode one, and then they wouldn't go back to your character's storyline until like episode five. So you'd just be sitting there for a month waiting like, oh, I wonder what happened to that character. It's insane. I, I could, like I was watching a video on it. I remember enjoying the first couple seasons. Now he had to, he, he, they should have been banned him, man. He got a ratatouille his ass. Season one was good. Season two and three were good too. I mean, there were, there were good seasons. Until that showrunner came on and he like killed everything, more or less. How do you kill the walking dead? No, you can't blame Rick. Guys, you don't blame Rick. Like, Rick is not a real person. I hate to be the one to tell you this. Like it's not, it's not his fault. <laughs> Rick, Rick wasn't out there actually fighting the zombies. It was the showrunner. <laughs> Fuck you, Rick! <laughs> I mean, it just sounded like... They were very resistant to having anything in that show happen with actual stakes. From what I've seen, I mean, again, like, I only watched up to maybe season four or maybe a bit of season five. And like, it just, everyone felt like their time was being wasted because it was. And then for the series finale, and I, I like, sorry for spoilers, not major spoilers, minor spoilers. They wanted everyone to, like, get their own show? Like, the whole setup to the end of The Walking Dead wasn't for The Walking Dead to end. It was for everyone to get their own TV series. <laughs> Which is, like, insane? I think that's insane.
Uh, was that Michonne? It was like, Daryl, Daryl was gonna go to Paris? It was like Daryl or Rick were gonna go to Paris and one of them was gonna go with Michonne. And like two other shows? Like how many, how much zombie content do they think we can do? How much appetite is there for a zombie show? Daryl takes a rowboat to France. <laughs> Are we supposed to cross the Atlantic Ocean on a rowboat? What are they doing in France? Well, there's zombies in France, presumably. I don't know. Maybe Daryl's actor was like, yo, I want to go to France. <laughs> They're like, fine, we'll give you a show in France. I don't know. I didn't watch the show. Uh, I watched Train to Busan. It was good. So now he's not dropping shinies anymore. So we can just kill him or leave. Yeah, I mean, you know, they don't need to stay in the, whether they call it or not, the woods of Georgia forever. I, I would say that is fine. You know, what's going on with the zombies in, you know, Tokyo or Shanghai or whatever. I mean, the same thing more or less happened with Game of Thrones. It was an interesting show because it felt like anyone could die. And when they decided to make it, that pretty much nobody was allowed to die anymore. That's when people check out. You know, you're afraid that people's favorite character is gonna die and they're not gonna want to watch the show anymore. It's like, no, they'll keep watching. I mean, as long as you keep introducing characters that people like. I mean, I still watch Game of Thrones all the way to the end. I think a lot of people did. It's probably like one of the largest non-sport related watch shows ever. Like I'm sure MASH was more, but in modern history, I subscribe to HBO Go. <laughs> Man, with this extra defense, he really doesn't do a lot of damage. Start your second journey with more frames. It's pretty nice. As long as you're not doing switch acts, in which case it can be kind of not nice if you're at 120. Unless you were playing, what were you playing on before? Uh, at 120 FPS or maybe anything over 60. I don't know, I haven't really tested it. Switch acts gets a little weird. It's not. It's not drift. It's like your character is summoned to move in one specific direction. You play in PC at 30 FPS. 
That is probably the worst possible FPS to play at. Try to do do whatever you need to do at 60. I'm not bullying Switch Axe. Why are you crying? I'm not yelling at you. I love Switch Axe. But if you play it a lot, you might want to lock your FPS to 60. Xbox fridge box? The Series X? The One X or the Series X? Um, there might be physicals. In in some cases, the higher FPS is better. What's the move you used for a latch around with a greatsword to get the topple? Uh, jumping wide slash on the leg. The One X? It ran okay on the One X. It actually ran really well on the Series X. Have a good night, Boozy. Uh, supposedly, you can get more ticks with piercing ammo on bow guns. I have never tested it. Anecdotally, on every weapon at a high FPS, it feels like you can get into certain animations a little bit faster. What's the best greatsword to use with Frostcalf Gamma Set? Frostfang? Not necessarily. Frostcraft doesn't just boost ice damage. <laughs> I don't know. Are we talking? Oh, uh, what, are we ta what are we talking about? For Alatrion? For Alatrion, it's very good. We're so close. I, I, feel, I feel like I'm like dragging myself through mud. I'm like going through hell right now. Yes, Frostfang is a very good choice. You will not go wrong with Frostfang. Why am I doing Frostfang? I'm going to do this close. Well, maybe we'll do as an ogre. Yeah, uh, no, Jack, I, I'm pretty sure it's an FPS issue. Because when I lock that 60, I don't get that problem. No, we're not speedrunning MR100. We're just trying to get HR50. So we can fight Greatest Jagras. So I can get a couple weakness exploit decos. And maybe heavy artillery decos. We could probably do the gold ticket berry off. That wouldn't be the ter the worst idea in the world. You should uh, Galgamac. Uh, in either case, you should be trying to lock the game at either 60 or 120 FPS. Allegedly, non 60 FPS targets have issues. Intervals of 60. I don't know what 165 will do to you, but it wouldn't be good. Doing all right, Danny. Even better now that you're here, man. I mean, presumably 180 FPS? 240 FPS might be okay. I don't even know how you could get 200, uh, 240 Hertz, maybe at 1080p. You should lock at 60, Effie Machado. I hate, I hate to be the guy taking your frames away. Works perfect for you. All right, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not your boss. I didn't buy your copy of the game. If it's fine for you, then it's fine. The tick rate fix mod is not going to fix your switch axe though, I don't think. This is for armor spheres mostly, Mr. Drool Bucket, yeah. It's just, I didn't want to do Brute Tiger twice in a row. How does unlock FPS fuck up switch axe? I mean, you can just try it and find out, but basically it makes it so that you get like summoned 
Imagine in your mind you are a moth and turning your game to 120 FPS puts a gigantic flame. It makes you run towards a mysterious flame. You can post the link, but you'll get timed out for one second. It's really kind of hard to explain until you've, you've experienced it. No, I've never really practiced the cheese, Tempest. I've never tried it before. Not seriously, at least. The reason I have like a, I did a computer upgrade semi-recently is because I really wanted to stream from one computer and lock 120 FPS at 1080p. And I, it just so happens that it actually locks 120 FPS at 1440p. So I'm really happy. Like, this is... basically perfection? I should consider Cornish Rex cats? I've, I have seen that. I have seen that recommendation. gonna fall over. Or not? No, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I hate to be that guy that ruins everyone's day. And again, it's really, as far as I know, just an, a major issue with Switch X. I mean, not Now everyone's freaking out. They're all freaking out. Yeah, I think Big Bang is good here because I can't really reach the head. And like, World is still a very demanding game, so... I know there's a lot of people that can't reliably hold 120 FPS. It's not easy. I don't know, can a 4090 get 120 FPS at 4K? Probably. Maybe with FSR or DLSS or whatever. It can? Interesting. I don't know, I haven't tried. I haven't even tried to get to 4K on this computer. Oh, Gershwin, oh, I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry, dude. You managed to get it forward at FPS with frame gen? With the new FSR stuff or with an AMD card? I do want to point out that previously I used to get a similar bug with Hammer, but I have not gotten that bug in a long time. I've only really noticed it on Switch X. Z950XXP at 4K with frame gen? What bug is that? Streamer! Any tips for solo Latron with hammer? Uh, spin on the arms? Charge brutal big bang on the head is what my plan is. I'm talking about, I'm talking about 4K. I solved it for you? You're welcome. You got, wait. 
you lowered your FPS with the fluid motion stuff. The funny thing is that I did the majority of my switch axe run with that bug active. It was only when I was fighting a Latron where I'm like, I should probably cap my FPS. I'm not, that's not like a flex. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a, like a micro flex. OG streamer? It's true. World is only worth playing on a 70, 70 inch TV. I would play it at 4K. If I had that TV. No, my brother-in-law was asking me for advice on what TV to get. He said he wanted a big, beautiful TV, and I'm sorry, by today's standards, that's like 77 inches. 65 inches is like the standard size now. Not that I can really fit more than a 55 inch comfortably where I want it in my living room. I kind of beat this guy up. You had a 55 inch, then you switched to four monitors? You'd love to see me do a Latrion blindfolded. Please consider that idea. <laughs> I did a Latrion naked. I am more proud. I mean, would I be more proud of a Latrion blindfolded than naked? <clears throat> naked, uh, bo both. Naked below the waist, because I was streaming. I feel, I feel a little bit bad for that creator because she's at least put a lot of work into her content. The, the real trick is to do the blindfolded, you need to be blindfolded and clearly facing a wall. <laughs> like you shouldn't even be facing the monitor, right? It shouldn't matter where you're facing. Which creator? I don't, I don't know that I don't have the name memorized. I'm sorry. I don't. V Tremble, you don't want to copy my build. This is not the build for you to copy. <laughs> I mean, this is not, I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but like, if like you showed up to like the monster hunter meta subreddit and be like, yo, check it out. I got this build from SD Shepard. They're going to like laugh at me and then you and then me again. <laughs> so please don't do that. You know, I can do it blindfolded too. I tried blindfolded hunting before. It was not for me. I mean, it's only because like, Focusing monsters in this game is really awkward with how it works. That's a very Reddit-like build. How, how dare you? I will only believe if she's legally blind. Are they on defense pilled? I'm defense pilled now. I really am, though. 
Why am I talking to you? Wine Run was proven fake by a few people. It's probably fake, but like, I can't, I haven't really watched the video. Is there a channel I can post this? What are you posting? I saw a part where it apparently showed her eye tracker was on the screen, which is like, how does that even happen? Your empty basement with your setup? <laughs> uh, you post it in, in, you can post that in pretty much any channel. I like that. Unfortunately, the, the burden of proof ultimately is on the content creator. That's all I'll say. As hard as that is, as unfair as it may be to her, it's up to her to prove that it's a legitimate run. Another dude did it and it looked legit. I mean, when I was with when I was in Turbo Hell, that was basically the consensus. There was one run that was sus as hell, and then there was a Japanese runner that actually did better that was not sus. So I mean what can you even say? Usually when something is being faked in some way, you find one glaring piece of evidence, and then the more you look, the more evidence you find. And with that many people looking at it, you will probably only find more evidence. Devil Joe eating his tail stuff? Uh, I mean, it's not that dissimilar. It's probably about the same. What's a uh, phone torch test? Oh, like a phone flashlight le test? To make sure they can't see the light? Well, that's that's just it, Lord Rimheart. So when I did a blindfold run against Baroff, I did not use target lock at all. And I couldn't hit his ass for anything. <laughs> so to do it without target lock is like insane. You know, do it do it again i mean get get one eschaton topple while you're blindfolded and your back is to the monitor how do you ask a girl out um i mean it doesn't have to be like do you want to be my girlfriend <laughs> will you be my internet girlfriend do you want to go out with me i mean you just ask them if they want to hang out i mean generally you ask them to go out on a date first i mean you, you don't you don't got to commit to being boyfriend and girlfriend first Find out if you have anything in common. And then say like, hey, do you want to do something together? And let me tell you something. If a girl is even remotely interested in you, they'll say, sure. And if they're not interested in you, they'll be like, oh, I'm busy. Now, if they say, oh, I'm busy that day, but I'm free this day, that's, that's good. That's fine. But if they're always busy, got to keep, uh, just got to move on. I can't imagine things have changed that much.
the, that's the hard part is like I think everyone thinks in order to get internet success you need to have like one big blowout event and like one big blowout event will get you attention but if you can't keep backing up those skills consistently people will be like yo this person sucks <laughs> you know what I mean like they won't they won't keep watching Show me a blowout event. Crap your pants. Now! I mean, I don't know how old you guys are. But. Lunch is nicer and less committal than going out to dinner. Oh, we got HR 50. You're posted and you're 26 years old. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's see here. Now oh, you got a nice basement. For a second, do you want me to show this on stream? Is that why you posted it? For a second, I thought you had like five liters of lube on your desk. And I was like, bro, you might want to clean uh, that lube off your desk. I know it's water. I know it's water. I know. I'm just saying when I saw it, I thought it was like five liters of lube. And then you could say like, well, how do you know what five liters of lube look like? That is also a very good question. Where did it download to? Right? That is, at first glance, that's a big... <laughs> that's a big thing of lube. I like the Marvel poster. Did you play Midnight Suns? I forget. My only thing is, is that, that the color temperature on that light... I would rather have a warm light. That's like sunlight. That's too bright for me. Gotta get a warm light in there. It's best rank to grind master rank 100. You just do the guiding lands. A drum of lube. You need to get yourself a 50 gallon drum of lube. I gradually switched out all of the lights in my house so that they were warm lights, but some of the previous ones were the bright ones. How much tremor res do you need for uh? Greatest Jagger. She's in your anatomy class? I mean, if you're in the same class together, you can see if she wants to study together with you at some point. I don't know if maybe that would be like sinister. It's either studying or saying like, hey, do you want to get coffee? Study her anatomy? <laughs> that's a chat. That's... That's... That's something else. <laughs> hey. Hey, baby. You ever see a micro pee-pee before? <laughs> I got a real little one. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> You'll do fine. Like I said, if they're even remotely interested in single, they will say sure. If they're not interested or not single, they'll say they'll have they'll give you an excuse and that's that's fine. The most successful people in life are the people that are most okay to get hit with some amount of rejection. As insane as that sounds, like very few successful people got there by just 
getting it in one every single time. Does height matter? I'm short as hell. I've never had an issue having a girlfriend. I mean, the thing is, is like, I think most girls, given a preference, they would rather their guy be taller than them. But I don't know. I think they're a little less vain than most guys are. He's taller than you? Well, like I said, it doesn't really matter. I dated a girl that was at least four to five inches taller than me in high school. But she's seven feet tall. I doubt she's seven feet tall. That was the toad licker. That, that was the uh, big booby goth girlfriend. Remember, we are not me? You could be so much better than me, though. I'm not... I don't have anything special, really. <laughs> Are we supposed to compete to the jump shark champion? The best advice I can give about confidence is simply pretend. Simply pretend you are confident until you can actually build up some base confidence. There's that one scene from some Gene Hackman heist movie where there's like, oh, how do you come up with such good ideas? And uh, he's like, I pretend I'm smarter than I am. And I do whatever the smarter guy would do. Which I think that kind of works for confidence and all sorts of things as well. So. Did I enjoy using the switch axe? Sure. Yeah. Height thing is a new age thing? I mean... I think height always mattered a little bit but definitely i think the cult of online dating has made there being like a, a flex of being six feet tall or more but not everyone's like that i, I would say i would hope the, the that is a small minority of people that are like that I mean, there's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be vain men and women, is all I'm saying. But I mean, that's the horrible thing about dating apps, because you, you got, you know nothing about the person other than whatever attributes they choose to share with you. And it's pretty much just like, whatever, a face shot, I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming there's no, like, <laughs> dick shots allowed on the dating apps. I assume. I don't know. No dick shot. I mean, I've read articles where they're saying increasingly people are meeting with the apps, though. That's the horrible part, Caro Caro, is you may not want to be part of that meat market, but you might have to be part of the meat market. You're 29 and no one has asked you to go to get coffee or anything? Oh 
Well, that's not fair. Your wife did say she couldn't deal with you being shorter than her, but then she is a very short woman. <laughs> I mean... In terms of modern life and conveniences, height is... I don't say it's vestigial, but it doesn't really matter for much. But yeah, modern days, I mean, guys or girls, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being like, do you want to get coffee? <laughs> I mean, I know it sounds like such a dumb thing to be like, hey, well, like, that's literally all you gotta do. And then just talk. And then, like, if you're interested in each other, that's fine. I mean, all things considered, I, I mean, I'd rather be 5'7 than 6'7. 6'7, it just seems like you're just plagued with back issues. That sounds like that'd be terrible. There's our second heavy artillery deco. I mean, I might be a little guy, <laughs> but at least my back doesn't like constantly ache. Oh, you'll be popular on the dating apps. And organs? That sounds tough. Never had back problems at 6'3? How old are you? Smaller people live longer, take that, tall people. You make it sound like small people are like cursing the tall ones. 37? Oh, you lucked out. For now. Hopefully it keeps going. The hitting your heads on things seems like it would be a pain in the ass. Uh, it's just brain rot, best arrest. It's, there's no reason to do it. I mean, people, I mean, look, Karama, I mean, the heart wants what the heart wants. If, if you're a girl or a guy and you're like, I must date someone over six feet tall and you can land that, fine. I, I had a roommate in college that was like obsessed with redheads. And you know what? Every single girl I ever saw him date was a redhead. And he married a redhead. And now he was out there having redheaded children. <laughs> uh, fetish? I mean, you know. Borderline? A lot of women wouldn't date guys shorter than them. I mean, it's not like normally, even if that were the case, like women are usually shorter than guys. Even if you're a short guy, they're usually shorter. Like, yeah, you might be short compared to other guys, but I'm still a lot taller than Jen is. I 
I mean, unless you've got, like, a real issue with it. He's B is 6'6", six, six, and his wife is 4'11". That's a bit of a difference. Uh, I think you technically get better decorations from this guy, Hamish. I personally enjoy fighting Jagras a lot more, but... The taller guy for the hug dynamic? <laughs> like... She wanted to be tiny? And get a big hug? nerfed his kids. Could be a good thing again, like, you know. He found a career out of it, but maybe his kid wanted to be an accountant and not have to deal with insanely large size. Uh, there's some um, Elder Dragon in the Celiana Supply Cache quests, Rapto, that are the good ones. Like five six? I think I'm five seven. I've got I'm out here with a guy on YouTube chat that's trying to obsessively catalog my physical dimensions. Little weird. Maybe not weird for YouTube. How much do I weigh? I'm kind of fat right now, but I haven't really been able to exercise for like the last Three months? I know, is your real doll of me not right? Nightmare on YouTube? Weren't you banned on Twitch? I ban you on Twitch? I, you know we can find out? If I ban him and he doesn't t talk in YouTube chat, Twitch chat, okay. You know what, this is how you always know someone's banned. They'll let you know. <laughs> They'll let you know. <laughs> Dude, it never gets old. You think it'd get old. And they're like, they're th and every one of them is thinking to themselves like, wow, he's the asshole. He's such an asshole streamer. This is the uh, Frost thing. Uh, there's really no... I don't think there's any reason to use the Valkana weapons. I think they're all bad. The armor is really good. But I don't, I don't think the Velcana weapons have anything that they're particularly good at. They do look good. I think all of the, all of the Frostfang weapons are okay. I think only the Switch Axe? Charge Blade? Charge Blade isn't very good. Don't run, please. Oh, did I not? 
Oh, I didn't bring it. Yeah, I mean, for a Latrion, it doesn't really matter. You could definitely use the Frostbang Charge Blade and fi be fine, but I think Beatotus clears it, especially with Augments. And that's not even talking about Cold Ice, which is even better. Yeah, no, in these runs, I would love to farm him, but if I can't get another fire a Latrion, I'm not gonna farm up a fire weapon. It's still really good. You can definitely clear when we do um When we do a Latrion with Charge Blade, we'll probably use Frostbang. Oh, the Frostbang Barrieth weapon should be fine on its own. Scott, Scott Van Dusen, thank you. Just up ages. down is enough. Definitely up down is enough. So I guess I would be happy with We'll see. I mean, depending on whether I get crit boost first or weakness exploit first. Do you not drop echoes? That's kind of weird. Oh, Savage Axe. Up, down, Savage Axe on the arms. You'll get a topple, like, within, like, two minutes. Gold gear for Fatalis? Um, it's really decorations that matter. We kind of already got it, but, you know, full weakness exploit with a point or two of crit boost would be nice. Right now, I just want one weakness exploit deco. If we can get one, we're okay. Uh, so toppling, you actually technically do not need to topple a Latrion, as weird as that sounds. You just need to break the horn to prevent him from switching elements. But if you don't topple him, you'll die. I picked up the face stones. <laughs> Mr. TwitchCon 2019 San Diego. Get off my nuts! <laughs> okay. That made me laugh. When Lavazioff pukes, there's like a little shiny. Have I done a hunting horn run? No, we will eventually, though. It's kind of a hard run. It doesn't... It's hard to do really good damage against Fatalis. We might actually have to farm... a Latrion. I don't want to be a little man! And I suggest Elemental Light Bogan for a Latrion that's not Safi or a Latrion. Um, I mean, Frostfang is probably good, right? TwitchCon 2019 on. I see what you did there. Honestly, how is TwitchCon? I have never 
had any desire to go. I so I like I just don't understand the purpose of it. It's a streamer petting zoo. That doesn't sound very enjoyable. I don't think it's smelly. Like I think streamers are generally some of them at least are able to put themselves together pretty well. There's pockets of stench. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I would go to PAX East again, maybe. You go to have fun with friends? You went in the foam pit? Not permanently injured? That's pretty paw champ. I mean, I already have like an agency. I don't, they, they I, they get money from me, so I don't have to do networking. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Hi, win, please. Turbo Copium Con, we are no longer affiliated with Terapium. You like saying triple cope? You can, yeah, I mean, you can say it. I've never had anyone be like, I want to see you in the flesh streamer. Join me at TwitchCon. And I tried to meet people at PAX East once and like, I met like one guy who wanted a hug. I gave him a hug. And that was it. And it's not like I have anything against that experience, but I'm not gonna go all the way out just to hug one dude. No offense. Everyone that went this year got sick. Holy crap. Oh, wait, no, he's sleeping. I thought that was a KO. It'd be cool to meet a streamer fortuitously. When I was in Japan, literally the day I was leaving, I was on the subway going to the airport. A guy recognized me. I'd gone three months in Japan without recognizing anyone or being recognized. And as I'm leaving, I was like, oh, is that you? That was kind of wild. I guess it would be unfortunate meeting someone in real life that you banned and they'd be like, you banned me. You banned me from your stream. They'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Ban them in real life. Everyone, everyone that was banned in Twitch had a second chance to not be banned on YouTube. I didn't do anything to make them type the things they said to get banned in, in YouTube. They had to type it. They, I always say they make three mistakes. You think of the comment, you type the comment, and then you push the enter. Do they deserve an unban if they're committed? If I met them in real life and they actually groveled on the ground at my feet, I would consider unbanning them. Is Slugger 5 good for Elatrion? No. KO kind of sucks on Elatrion. I think that was to punish the sticky users. 
I'd consider, I mean, it's not a guarantee. Depends on who they were and what they got banned for. I don't want people thinking like there's a, there's like a grovel. A grovel guarantee. I guess if you get your ban request denied for the next unbanned stream, I might consider you filming yourself groveling to the camera on the ground and then chat could vote from that. But it would have to be broadcast to the world. <laughs> you groveling. <laughs> and then you guys can decide whether or not it's a good enough grovel. I'm not the sicko. I'm, I'm not the one that made any mistake. I've, I've had people that have been chatting in this stream for five years that have never even gotten a timeout. Let alone been banned from the platforms twice and then had their ban request denied. You gotta really mess up. You gotta be a, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, you just gotta be a not a very good person. You got some self-reflection you gotta do. This X, no. The only timeouts that count or when I check the timeout and it shows that I timed them out for a week, or especially if I've timed you out for two weeks, yeah, you gotta be on your best behavior. You gotta, you gotta be like getting, you gotta, I'd start sweating. If you get, if you get a two week out of me, cause I gotta calculate those seconds. That being said, so Kyle, here's, here's how it goes for hammer on the Latrion. You kind of spin the legs till you get the topple and then a lot of charged, brutal big bangs on the head. That's kind of how I do it. I've only practiced it once. It was like a week ago. But I did practice this time. I mean, solo hammer is a little bit better. Like, hammer struggles with KO value in multiplayer, with multiplayer scaling. Mon Black, hello? I'm thinking it's gonna be uh, Thursday. It's definitely not gonna be tomorrow for the multiplayer stream. I think it's gonna be Thursday. It might be, maybe it'll be Friday, I don't know. Char Element Ice, which I build for standard element. I mean, you could put six, six element on there. Depends what your armor set is. We're gonna do some multiplayer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag my PlayStation downstairs. Mon Black still needs their Fatalis clear. What am I farming for? Just like one Weakness exploit decoration would go really hard right now. I'm suffering. No, it's not going to be tonight. It'll be Thursday or Friday. We're going to do some multiplayer. Steamworks easier. We can't do Steamworks. It's not a festival. We're stuck doing this. My ass cheeks. You forgot? That's okay. I forgot. No cross platform play, Zachary. So it was what I meant when I said I have to drag my PlayStation. There's no cross platform. It will never be in the game. I sincerely doubt Capcom will ever patch that in. It would be amazing if they did. No. No, there's not that many cross-play uh, Capcom games. You have Street Fighter VI. You have Exo Primal. What else? 
I do think it'll be in the next game. I think I, I, there's very good reason to think it'll be in the next game because it's in Street Fighter. It was like the number one requested thing in Rise. It was crossplay. So other players don't see your booba mod. The biggest barrier to crossplay was Sony, which is the only thing that makes me a little nervous about crossplay because they're the ones that are heading up advertising for uh, Milds in Japan. It's a little concerning. I, I mean, I, I don't, I missed it. Why, what were the people that were getting mad on Twitter about Xbox getting rid of its exclusivity? Like why would anyone ever be mad about that? That's like such a good thing for so many people. It's like only benefit. Who wants to be out there managing two to three paid subscription services a year? But it's like, like 53 year old man child crying that people were gonna be able to play Halo on their PlayStation. Like grow up, dude. Like console wars were over, have been over for a long time. Everyone lost. I mean, the Series X has slightly better performance than a PlayStation 5. And you could be happy about that. You'd be like, my, I get three FPS more than you do on average. And I don't, I don't want to sound entitled here, but like, especially if it's like your career in video games, like you can't afford an extra couple hundred dollars for something that you make a living off of? You heard Xbox isn't releasing a new console after this? Dude, I mean, in the short term, combining the PlayStation Plus catalog and the Xbox catalog would go crazy hard. Or even if they were just both allowed on there. If you could have access to both of those catalogs on one console, that'd be nice. No, I could see it. I could definitely see Xbox maybe not releasing a console. I think they will. They want that Xbox Live money. But if they could put their Game Pass on the Switch and on Sony, that'd be great for everyone. Oh, Pooty, talking about groveling. Let me let me tell you something. I owned the deluxe edition of Neo 2 that had the full season pass. With the deluxe edition of Neo 2 and the season pass, you were provided the ability to upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version. Somehow, and it was definitely my mistake, I clicked a button and it made me purchase the PlayStation 5 version of Neo 2, which I already had. Essentially, I had it. And when I called up, the customer service, she was like, oh, you naughty boy. You've made such a mistake. 
You downloaded that game onto your console and you got to enjoy it. She's like, I'll talk to my supervisor to see what I can do. She like leaves me on hold for 10 minutes. She's like, all right. As a one time exception, we will refund your purchase of the game. <laughs> I was like, I own the game. I own it already. I already owned them. <laughs> they were both there. That was not getting through to her at all. Like you naughty little boy. Steam was great. Steam is like, you know, even if you're a little over two hours, like they'll sometimes just refund it to you anyways. It's like, you could check, they're like, because you downloaded it to your console, you got to enjoy it. Like, I didn't even start it. Like, you could check, like, I didn't even start it on my console. Have a good night, Fraxen. You know, like, what are you, what are we, uh, how are we living? Yeah. <laughs> this, she's definitely, that would definitely appeal to some people's fetish, that woman. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind getting the Steam credit, Reloof. I'm assuming that's how they feel, too. If you're getting the Steam credit, who cares, right? You're going to spend the money again anyways. Yeah, I, dro I dropped the Grand Blue Relink. Uh, people are real mad, but I just wasn't feeling it, man. I have a great stream. Thank you. Hopefully we get to at least a latch round tonight. Oh, you can absolutely refund for a credit on Steam, Leona. Definitely. And I think they really don't care. Like, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone getting punished for refunding in under two hours. We're not online. Don't join. It's not real. At Endgame of Relink, bored of it already. See, I just had, I felt it in my, on my, in my insides. I'm like, there's gonna, this game isn't gonna do it. I know there's a lot of mad people, but. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And you know what the thing was? Is like, I thought the intro was great. You lied? I never even, I streamed it once. And I said, I will not stream this game. I said, I might buy it. I did buy it. So technically I was honest. Said it was a money thing? Well, I mean, it, it is definitely an opportunity cost thing. In my brain, it's like I could have Relink or I could have a year of PlayStation Copium. And I was like, I'd rather have a year of PlayStation Copium. My, I guess my big issue with Relink is no matter what you do, it seems like they really want you to use a full team. Like, it doesn't scale for you using a single player. <laughs> so many... I will say, though, I was really embarrassed. I, I was fed, fed humble pie, though, because when I went to check out the Crunchyroll, alleged Crunchyroll benefits on the PlayStation Premium service, I was reminded that it will never be good. It was five series that were only in English. Like, that's just insulting. Like, what are you doing? 
Like, it's not why people are getting Crunchyroll. It's why you might get Funimation. Even though I think it's all the same company now. But why would they do that? I don't, I don't mind English dubs in video games a lot of times, but I can't really handle anime like that, you know? Like, I like the English voices in Judgment better than the Japanese ones. Well, I can actually speak the language a little bit now. But even then, like, I still prefer Japanese. I just don't like the voice for... I forget his name. Tak? Taka? I did watch Animusha. I forget if I did the English or the Japanese there. They were both pretty good. I like English dub Goku as well. But then like, there's gonna be the grandma lovers in chat. They're gonna be like, how dare you? Grandma Goku is able to express so much more emotion than English speaking Goku. Don't let grandpa game know about you, man. They'll put a hit out on me. But I consider watching a Spanish dub. Honestly, if I were to watch Dragon Ball Z again, I'd probably watch it in Spanish. English Goku's way better. Grandpa Gang's coming for you. Watch out. Isn't Luffy voiced by an old woman as well? <laughs> Grandma Luffy is better? I think it's funny. Man, I'm like in hell, dude. I thought these guys were supposed to give good decos. Luffy is voiced by Krillin? No way. What if I just made the weakness exploit charm? It's a little scary, but it might work out. Maybe. Maybe Jagras would be better. Didn't realize we'd have so many dub enjoyers. You can die to Tempered Zenogre. I'm not afraid of dying to him. Uh, you can definitely solo for you. It gets really hard in G rank. But you can definitely do it. If you use Insect Lave, it'll be easy. Is Inscription the card game? Have I seen original Berserk? Yes. I think I've seen every animated Berserk other than the Crunchyroll stuff. That stuff was really bad. <laughs> that one was real bad. But I watched everything else, including the movies and stuff. I just said I didn't watch the Crunchyroll stuff. That was the CGI stuff. I didn't watch that. But I watched everything else. I mean, I'll pretty much always like Berserk stuff. I was especially excited about that one because they were finally animating stuff that had never been animated before. And then it was just like, bad?
You know what game used to go crazy for me? The uh, Dreamcast. Dreamcast Berserk game was awesome, dude. You ever play that one? Love that one. I guess technically, oh wait, hold on. I, I almost got mixed up. There was the Dreamcast Berserk, and then there was like a record of Lotus Wars Dreamcast game. I don't know what the hell was going on in that one. That one was weird as hell. It was kind of Diablo-like. But you were playing as the bad guy from the series, but he was like resurrected. Bonkin' head's good. We're doing all right. Hey, he's kind of messed. He got me in the corner, dude. I just... The only thing I remember about the game was, like, I was never able to get 100%. I got it, like, 99%. Never got Record of Lotus to 100% on the Dreamcast. I would never play it again, by the way. It wasn't really that good of a game. Play it on stream. In my stream retirement, I might play it on stream. When I retire. I, I got like 10 years to go. I've got 10 years until my retirement. The PS4 one, the PS4 Berserk stuff is like a Musou game, which like, it's always hard to make those games enjoyable. Animusha. Uh, the Dreamcast Berserk game is a little bit like Animusha. That's two more Monster Hunter games. You know, I don't really... I don't want to think about it like that. But yeah, you're kind of right. At the rate that they've been going. Jump attack, good KO. It's good to everything. It's mount, it's KO, it's damage. Plus, maybe we'll actually get 4 UHD between now and 10 years from now. You don't know. I couldn't see anything. I don't know what was going on there. Well, he's on his ground. He's on the ground anyway. I want to get those shinies. This should be the pile. I love that palm slam. So what are the odds that a glowing face stone gives a... Weakness exploit, you said three times?
Do I read any books? It's been a long time since I've read anything that's not uh, manga or or uh, doujin. I feel like I do a lot of readings. I just don't read a lot of books. It's kind of sad. I mean, the last big thing I read was probably Game of Thrones. I mean, canonically, Greatest Jagras wins, Hamish. I think I got up through the fourth book? Maybe third. It's like suffering every time I look at this list. I just feel like I feel like Lavazioth was better. Hey, tell me stuff, huh? <laughs> like fortify? No. Song of Ice and Fire? You're you are right. That's what I, I remember Lavazia being better too. But I don't think there's anything wrong with mixing it up. Floor Frostbite is boring, but the odds are better. You think it's better than this? Nicolette, I, the, the festival's not up. So I can't use that method of getting decorations. Otherwise, I mean, we'd be done already. I feel like Lavazioth is maybe a little bit faster to clear. Claw Stagger goes pretty hard here. He isn't drop. I thought he dropped Warren. He dry he definitely drops warp. The red ones? Maybe not from his shinies, but from his from actually killing him. There's, I mean, there's one right there. <laughs> it's literally right there. Is Evasion Mantle worth it for these runs? Yeah, maybe. Wiki is weird. I mean, I'm very suspect on almost all information that's related to Monster Hunter on the internet. It's always been bad. And Fex for Life getting their ass up and things has only ever made it worse. Still haven't streamed, right? It's been like a couple months. Come on, play, you cowards. <laughs> Come out and play! We want to see your non-embedded view count. They could have done so much. Like, they could have 
with all those viewers, they could have been running like actual tournaments and stuff. With all the money that they theoretically would have had from all that AdSense. And then people would have actually just watched normally. Instead, they just like sucked the, the money out of people through the AdSense and now nobody trusts them anymore. If you constantly had people going back and vetting and making sure that, like, recent patch information was accurate. It's not like there haven't been a lot of people out there making better wikis. It's not, that's not the issue. It's just like they've got that page ranking from Google. Yeah, the, the game a layout is kind of ass, but I agree. I think there's been some decent information on there as well. But there's still, like, not a very good page where you can just go to and get an easy per piece skill list for armors in the game, and I have no idea why. No, don't go. My Wilds Wiki coming soon? There's still not a very good wiki resource in English, is there? Kiraniko is okay. But even then, it only starts at... Ryu? I just don't know how to get one really set up. I kind of looked at one point. I'm like, this is hard. My heart is crushed every time I do this. I guess we could do a Zenogre run, a Deco Zenogre. I don't know if that's better. How am I? Existing. <laughs> I exist. You know, I could put flight in here. He was the goat for a while. I mean, the other option is 50 shades of white. I don't know if it's that much better though. It might be a little safer. Lex drop rates are even lower in master rank face stones. <laughs> 
I think I'll just go back and forth between Greatest Jagras and Lavazio. We did all that work to get there. Punderblade not good for Deco Farm. Oh, I don't know if it even works. It might work. But the extra damage from the Coral Horn is kind of worth it. I mean, the alternative is like, like, could I clear baby Elatrion right now? Yes. I'm just worried about big Elatrion. I don't know if I clear it without weakness exploit three. Do I need to do Big Elatrion? He's become part of the challenge. Technically, no. It's too Fatalis. It's not too Elatrion. But we've done it every other time. People really like it when I do it. It's interesting seeing Elatrion done with such crappy gear. Because I fight it completely differently than I'd fight almost anything else in the run. We can't get silver tickets until it's a festival. What decos do I want? I want weakness exploit and I want crit boost. I know it seems weird because it's like we always, it feels like there's always a festival, but there are periods of time where there's no festival. We're in it. What weapons am I comfortable with? All of them. This is going to last two weeks? Thursday is an event. So, depending on how terribly this goes, I think it comes back on Thursday. Does anyone want to check the website? No, the run would not fail at a timeout. I assume Thursday is, is a festival. I guess we could check the website. Thursday is Fatalis the Mon Black? Well, maybe it's going to be Wednesday. <laughs> The, the real thing at this point, we've sandbagged enough. We just do the viewer hunts tomorrow, and then Thursday is the final grind and run day.
Baby Elatrion is the Elatrion you have to do to fight Fatalis. He's got like a quarter of the health of normal Fatalis. A normal Elatrion. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe the reason I lost my other runs is I wasn't doing the run on a Friday. <laughs> I should just play to do it on Fridays. The thing is, though, is like Wednesday, I wanted to do, I wanted to be a Safi lobby. February 16th. That's next week. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, no. Well, that's not good. Maybe... Maybe Raging Bracky armor is the way? We have anti-blast decos. I just, I need to test a Latrion with without crit element. No, I wanna I want I want this run to clear by by Friday at the latest. Oh the read Yeah, I just don't know how I feel about that, Toad, you know? It's a little too cheaty, you know what I mean? It's possible we don't need crit element. I just, I need to test it first. Oh, come back. Maybe two-piece Falcana, three-piece Raging Bracky? So it's two weeks without a festival, huh? Damn. Can you grab that shiny, please? I'm pretty sure you can get full weakness exploit in, I mean, pretty close to full weakness exploit in crit boost. The crit element from Valkana should be enough. I probably don't need the Frostcraft. It's an interesting idea, though, fighting Raging Bracky. That's a scary fight. You got the right weapon for it, though. And we have Celestial Tickets? Yeah, you can do this. You can, you can do the Spinning Bludgeon. Drunken Walrus, and that's good enough. It'll be good enough for one topple.
Raging Brachyarma will make Fatalis much easier. It's pretty good. The two piece will be really nice if we if we decide we want to go for agitator. Whatever is seven. Two hundred stamina instead of one fifty. You want two piece Anjanoff or? I mean, ideally we got one anti blast. Um, was it four piece Fatalis? We'll get it to you. I'm thinking about it, actually. It's scary. Definitely. Let's do one Raging Bracky. Let's see what happens. High rank deco melding? Just go over here. Meld decorations. We're all right here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like afraid. Don't tell anyone I'm afraid. I'm not afraid of him. The other one with random face stones? Oh! First Wyvarian ritual? I don't even know if this one will get it. I don't think that's worth it. Is there an MR limit to unlock Char Melding? I don't know. You might have to do a high rank Kolv. I think somebody said they did a master rank cold and they didn't need to do that. Well, this is an interesting idea. I like this concept. I don't know if it's going to work out for us. We might die. I don't know if the fire mantle, fireproof mantle, would be better than vitality mantle here. Mm. Raging Bracky Hammer would probably be better for Fatalis by a little bit. Depends what decorations we end up getting. And Blast is not very good on him. Oh, did I not eat? Whoa. Can you augment the Raging Bracky weapon easily? No. We could probably get one defense augment on there. Yeah, all things considered, I'd probably keep Frostfang. It's fully augmented.
Should probably grab those shinies, right? That attack is so difficult to evade if you try to evade it normally. Why is it so much damage, man? Time to make a new save. I'm putting you on the list, buddy. Bloody Yuki. You're my biggest fan? Feels an awful lot like a big doubter. He should be able to get 500,000 points to get off the way. <laughs> it's a good point. It's the cold morning. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know it got cold in hell. I always get confused as how to get over to him. You see, because I'm almost done. Oh, okay. Oh, yo, from the top rope. He hit me with his grundle. That's not going to hit anything.
It's actually going to be a lot easier in the final area. Actually, the lava area and the final area will be a lot better. I'll have a lot more ledges to deal with. It's kind of cruel what that slime does to you. Like, you go in for the, the head break, and then you just gotta deal with getting slime on the ground. He's all beat up again. No bomb, wake up. I am going to uh, ban you on YouTube if you backseat me. <laughs> I'm just telling you that now. I don't need this in my life and neither do you. Where am I going? It's like over here. <laughs> Where are we going? It's like I know it's like over here somewhere. 
I just follow the scout flies. They'll show me. I'm fall. I'm going. I'm going. You cannot capture him. If you capture him, you do fail the quest. But you can use traps for damage. Crosscraft good with Hunting Horn? Sure. Hunting Horn does, does decent elemental damage. You know, you got quick sheep as well. Not that hunting one really needs it, but. No, I, I do not play Monster Hunter now. I don't live near any of the checkpoints and I'm not gonna drive my car to go to one. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to play the game. right next to three sounds awesome sounds like you can play the game that sucks not really i play monster Hunter all the time i don't need like more mobile microtransaction monster hunter i do like walking so that's unfortunate I read multiple chats while also fighting monsters like this. I've been doing it for a long time. YouTube chat's a little slow right now anyways. Kent is able to read multiple chats and play the game and type. So figure that one out. <laughs> That's arguably more impressive. YouTube check out all banned? We're not so lucky. Should I guide grinding lands only a member 47? Uh, I mean, you could level up multiple regions. I don't... It would take... Maximum insanity... To pre-record a stream, stream it... And then just sit there and watch the stream with people. Maybe if it were multiple people doing it. Shush. 
should have probably... Mm. No, this is fine. I don't like the melting. Yeah, I stay away from all that. <laughs> I want to stay away from all that. We're good, right? We don't take any damage. We're not near anything. Does he hurt himself with his own explosions? I never noticed that. Wow, that's funny. We're taking our time. There's no reason to rush this. Especially with this much goo. Although I really feel like I'm threading the needle over here. I mean, that's not bad damage. Was that like 350 damage? Right, I'd like to get a wall bang off. I got you your first bear off? Hell yeah, brother. He was hard back then. He's a chump now, but in the olden days. What gear am I using? Nothing worth mentioning. <laughs> I promise you nothing good. This is a, uh, a character that is less than a week old that is going up until Fatalis as a challenge. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, over a thousand defense feels pretty okay. You know, politics is taboo in most chats, but the Republican primary leader in Nevada on votes tonight is none of the candidates. I thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's interesting.
Oh, we're good. Might be able to make one piece of armor. After that, we picked up a lot of shinies, and I think we did break the head and one of the arms. Why am I killing him? Because we're struggling for weakness exploit. And crit boost, and I think he gives both of them. He gives, like, agitator and weakness exploit. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, huh. Wow. Well, that's helpful. I don't even really remember what he makes. I just know that there's good, weak, there's like one good weakness exploit piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the head and the legs. The warhead is just the head, right? I can just break the head and then leave? Twice? I mean, I would break the head and then I would return from quest. No, that's, it's not hard to break his head. Not with hammer. May as well craft the weapon? I don't think so. I don't think that's necessary. So I just need two head breaks. I could do that. Maybe more than two, but... You know, not significantly more than two. Interesting. Hold on, let me cook for a second. Is the cat buff better than the demon arm? Demon and arms drugs. Yes. Yes, it is. Eso me recuerda. I won't have crit boost if I do this. Well, Como está tu equipo? 
AT Valkan in terms of armor? You can use the um, Elatrion. What am I doing? Elatrion, like legs, tacit, and chest, or maybe arms. I just get a lot of defense. Elemental defense. Charms will be pressed. Uh, I'm, hold up. I'm just trying to see where else I can get crit boost. Man, they don't make it easy. Can you get crit boost? You can get a crit boost charm, right? Level two. Free a around. What's a good switch axe set? Um, I mean, four a Latrion? The USJ Frostfang quest gets you some arms that give you focus and weakness exploit. It's pretty good. But that's just one piece of armor. That's not a whole set, so I don't know. Two tempered Valkana mats. Ooh. Maybe I just make the head. No, I want I want to keep this tacit. We can do Valkana chest and legs. Maybe. Oddly enough, those are, these are all the things I would use up all of my melding decos. That's really annoying. It's not layered. It's just Damascus. I mean, we could just farm the Odo Mantle. But that'll give us critical element, full weakness exploit, and full crit boost. And we could still probably get three points of crit eye. That's not bad. Aquí está el de la quinta. Let me see if I've got a Odo investigation. I mean, Quick Sheaf is always kind of a fun skill to have. But otherwise, yes, the skills are, are pretty bad on Velcana. Kind of really bad. There's an Ebony Odo. There's another Ebony Odo. There's an Odo. Well, you know, it at least feels like we've got a plan now. 
That was really annoying for a long time, but I feel like we've got some focus on something that we can make. I mean, hammer sheaths pretty quickly, but it can always sheath faster. I guess that would be my thing. Alright, I like this. I like where we're going with this. This seems good. He's weak to ice, too, so that's like free damage. Good night, Harambe. I mean, I still usually end up sheathing my sword and shield anyways whenever I'm using, um, not that I use wide range often, but when I do. Sheath almost instantly without quick sheath. It's even faster. I'm not arguing. I I agree. It's it's excessively fast. But you know, if you're using frostcraft, every fraction of a second counts. I thought he was going to counter after that. Oh, he got me in the air! Switch axe best all around part break weapon? It's kind of, it depends on the monster and what part you're trying to break. It's good, but like, great sword and sword and shield also are also very, very good. But yeah, I mean, power axe mode and switch axe goes pretty crazy. It depends. Like, if you're able to line up everything on an Ajinoth, yeah, it's good on breaking the legs, but for things that take good damage, like Fatalis Head, like Gunlance isn't that good. Unless you're using a snowman. Oh, wow, earplugs are great on him. Is Lance a bad weapon? Nope. Um, it's really fun to play. It's not as fun to watch. 
because it looks a lot like the person's doing the same thing over and over again. Which they're not, but also kind of sort of they are. But it is not a bad weapon. And you should not feel bad for using it. I don't use it a lot because I'm a streamer and I want people to be entertained. Whether it's earned or not, there's a lot of people that find it a boring weapon to watch. You're entertained? There is a very powerful vocal minority of people that are happy to watch Lance King play. I'm not, I'm not saying nothing, I'm just saying. I have years of Monster Hunter streaming experience to go off of. Oh, damn it. <laughs> hey, like that streamer? Hey, nice flinch shot, idiot. Show it to me, Daddy. We take a good look at your long, hard lance. Oh, yeah, that insect blade. Oh, I'd really suck the extract out of you. I would love to mount those guys, but there's no easy way to do that. Still running. Um, so you can immediately continue at your previous charge level after a slinger burst. So if you've got a slinger burst that will flinch the monster, you can hit them with a slinger burst and then get them with a super pound or a charge brutal big bang. It kind of depends on the monster, which one's going to be a little bit more effective. it a lot. But I had piercing pods and it seems like it made sense on the Odo at that exact moment. What did you miss? We killed Raging Bracky. We we're probably going to make his helmet. And then I want to get an Odo mantle because I'm going to make the Velcana legs. And I want to be able to hold on to one celestial melding ticket if I can help it. Tell them I got two mantles in one kill. I don't even know if I'm going to make two pieces of Raging Bracky armor. No, Wallbangs did not exist before Iceborne.
What? If we get desperate, we could just meld it. That's the nice thing. Relative to just doing the quest normally. I wonder if the physics are interactive during that, Teos. <laughs> what am I farming? Back from making uh, baked potatoes based. Uh, I want an Odo mantle. Ooh, bonus time. Uh, Luthos, it's loaded into the memory? Presumably there is a pattern because there are mods that know 100% of the time what buttons to press. Like, if I want to press buttons, I like doing Y, X, B, and then Y, B, X. Steam tickets you can use, uh, for melding for items. That's what I usually use them for. Bonus time! Lucky! Never find out what they're really for. I mean, there's an armor set, the clockwork armor set, which actually has one or two pieces that are okay, you know, before you beat Shara. Or if you just like want to bomb everything to death, <laughs> that's the it's its other purpose. It's bomb secret. The alpha arms, the alpha legs, and then, I don't know, beta chest. Something like that. You get one point of crit boost. You would want, like, I mean, usually you can get the Hornetar task set and Hornetar head here. That would actually be not, not bad. And then you could upgrade to the Fulger Tacit. Full weakness exploit, one point of crit boost, full bombardier, two points of agitator. Yeah, I wanna I wanna save my celestial tech it in case there's something from Alatrion that I wanna make. No me that is a better auto quest. The Alatrion chest is very nice. I would love to have it. Oh, Chin Chin. That's a funny name. That's a funny one. Nihongo ga hanishimasu ka?
<laughs> Meaning? <laughs> what I said or what your name means? Your name means penis, dude. <laughs> your name means dick. Did you not know that? <laughs> it's okay. Do I like it? Do I like that your name says Dick? Or do I like Dick? Yeah. Some people call me Shepherd Shin. And I think that's funny too. Is he flirting? Is that, is that flirting? Well, now, now, I'm, now I'm a little worried. <laughs> But your friends say. No, that does not mean but. Uh, but is Oshidi. Oshidi is but. Pretty is like. I mean, Kide can be pretty. No. No, no. Ochin Shin does not mean pretty. No, that means penis. <laughs> pretty sure that means penis, man. I mean, I could be wrong. I only studied it for a year. Do you not speak Japanese? Am I fluent? Absolutely not. But I mean, you know, I know a bit. I know enough to know when a dude comes into YouTube chat with the name penis. <laughs> what source material? I took a year of intensive college level Japanese last year. I got an A my first semester. Second semester, I did not do as well. But I did great. I did great my first semester. I can be proud of that. Google says it means penis. <laughs> Thank you, Kurama. <laughs> Why did you do a course? Just watch a video essay. What a great question. I genuinely learned more in a class in like one week than I did in like two months of self-study. I mean, I did learn, I did learn it for the doujins, so I could read the sound effects, but let me tell you something. That dream is not what it's meant out to be. You're better off knowing what, the, not knowing what the sound effects are. Let's just say the horrific noises that are made in the uh, animated hentai, surprisingly accurate. A lot of squishing noises. What hammers this? This is the frost fan cam. What? Come on, you don't have to. Don't play dumb with me. You know, a lot of it, it's kind of 50 50, I find, between katakana and hiragana. It's not, it's not super consistent. I think it's up to the author. You know, it's not like anyone reading is not going to be able to figure it out. Messing this dude up. 
it was fun. It, it's the hardest I've ever had to study before in my life. Like, it was harder than getting a Masters. Or, like, any of the harder courses in my undergraduate. It was every day, man. Monday through fri Friday, we had a class. She really wanted me to take her 200 level class, and I'm like, I just couldn't do it. Even as a self-employed internet clown, like, I couldn't find the time. What's your favorite environment, World or Iceborne? I like the music in the Rotten Vale, I guess. That was pretty quick. That was a quick Odo. She ever asked me my reason for taking the class? Of course she did. It was like one of the first questions she asked. I said I want to be able to watch more anime and be able to try and communicate with people in Japanese. And I wanted to visit Japan. And I would say I did all of those things. I left out the part where I said I wanted to read doujins. <laughs> Have a good night, Danny. I left that part out. She knows. <laughs> What's a doujin? It is a fan-made comic of... It can technically be of any subject matter, but it's, it's usually pornography. It's not always, but it, that's usually what it is. I'm re to be clear, I'm reading the pornographic ones. But I like some physical doujins? Dude, they're so big! Tell her I want to watch Hentai with you. Oh, can I remember how to say that? Hentai wa... Mira nai? Desuka? Why don't we watch some Hentai together? <laughs> Something like that? Ishoni? Uh, the Ishoni part might have been implied. If, you have, if you're talking, if you're looking right at them. But you're right, that could also be interpreted as, why don't you watch some hentai? <laughs> Ishoni would make it very clear. Tips for your first raging kill? Uh, tenderize the butt and then hit the tail when it's enraged. I listen to any mu Japanese music genre. I mean, I don't mind Japanese music, but like, I don't, I don't like listen to it regularly. I spent most of all my free time is spent just studying. It's my favorite League of Legends champion. I don't play League of Legends much. When I do, uh, what was that guy's name? Fart, fart cloud guy, the guy that spreads around the fart clouds. What's his name? Singe. There, there we go. I like the fart cloud guy. He's a singed main? I, I mean, if I'm playing with someone else, like, I'll play support. I like Anivia mid, singed top, or like whoever bottom. I never did singed support. I never tried that out. My brother really wanted to get good at League of Legends. I don't think he ever cared about being like a professional player, but he wanted to get good and he got like hard stuck in gold, I think. I feel bad. Sin Jungle, I think would be really bad. Gold is really good. I mean, I would, you know. Gold is like, you're like, hey, you know how to play the game. Oh, I don't know if you ever got the diamond. I haven't asked him yet. It's in the top 50%.
You're gonna beat me up for downplaying him? Well, just it'll be even more impressive when he's actually better than I said. Gold can be, you used a broken champion to get there, not necessarily being good. That sounds like copium. Gold is, gold is above 50th percentile. Uh, for a while, like a year ago, I really enjoyed the League of Legends card game. I love that game. I stopped playing it because it was like getting really grindy, but that was fun. I mean, people people say average, but like better better than 50% of the people out there. I mean, you could feel okay about that. It's dead now. Did they kill that game? I spent like $15 on that game. Is all is all my money all wasted? <laughs> My money! <laughs> well, I don't... I, I only care about the PvE. I don't care about the PvP. Like, I, I generally don't care about playing against other people. I just like the deck building stuff. I would love it now. That's what I want. I just want all the PvE stuff. No, I just, I, I always thought, you know, as you make the character more powerful, you level them up and get their card upgrades and stuff like they, they just, it gets really interesting. Those sort of deck builders. I might, I might play it. I might boot it up because now, now I'm curious. For some reason, I never really got too much into Hearthstone. When it first came out, of course, I was like anyone else. I was playing it, but play Yu-Gi-Oh. Not really. I mean, I played some stuff on the DS. But I never played like the, uh, I know there's like a whole bunch of modern versions of it. Magic the Gathering? I have played Magic the Gathering. I remember being really good with it with my friends and being like an actual child and going to like a meetup to play it and having some guy like rules lawyer the hell out of me at every single turn. But he was older than me and I was like a child and I didn't know how to be like, let me take my turn properly. <laughs> I bet he felt really cool beating up like a 10 year old what deck did I play I, I ran a whole bunch of things probably my favorite deck was just a bunch of crappy uh, black mana cards Yeah, I'm going to kick that six-year-old's ass. Just, like, really cheap stuff. I mean, I, I wouldn't even understand the rule set nowadays because it's definitely changed wildly. Again, I am a, I am a living fossil, but this was before Pokemon had gotten really popular. Man, a couple of those boxes of Pokemon... I could have paid off this house. Got Logan Paul to buy a couple more mint Charizards. Pokemon got wild, man. 
It was all the people funneling that got disposable income that were like, I want to have the coolest cards that I couldn't get as a child. Pokemon cards got banned. For me, it was like, there were some, some adults, some teachers that thought like, Magic the Gathering was like, satanic. So that was, it was frowned on. I met a guy in real life who had a black Lotus. And he would show it to you. That wasn't in great shape, but it was real. Black Lotus, for anyone's like, what the hell is he talking about? Is just a very rare, maybe the rarest and are technically most powerful Magic the Gathering card ever created. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! got the same satanic treatment. I think it was just like their association with playing cards. I mean, they're, they're technically like a type of playing card, right? And adults being like, well, they're gambling. Like these are children play gambling. I'm thinking that that would be a problem. Now, is the Black Lotus, is it is it the most valuable printed card in history or is that something from like Pokemon? Why is Black Lotus the most powerful card? Um, It is a zero cost played card that gives you three mana of any color. So think about if in Hearthstone, you could play a zero cost card with zero downsides that gave you three energy. The one ring from Lord of the Ring cards. But there was only like one of those. So like, I don't think that's fair. Doesn't Magic the Gathering have one turn kill decks? And a three cost, a, a you know, the ability to ramp up by three mana on your first turn would definitely help quite a bit in terms of getting a one turn kill. There used to be um, game magazines or card magazines back in the day, and they would have interesting puzzles in them that would involve like figuring out killed conditions and stuff like that. That was neat. It's a shame Richard Garfield they like left Wizards of the Coast because like they're they're really fucking up now, turning their back on their artists and stuff like that. The old Steam game used to have one. All right, I think I'm good. I, I felt like I got almost nothing done. But technically, we did get things done. <laughs> but I've got very close to the same gear and everything else I had when I started this today. I just don't want to rush. I don't want to rush a Latrion and die. But I might I might do some practice or something and then see how how with how, how little I can get away with this hammer. I don't want to YOLO it. All right, everyone have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Safi Lobby's Thursday, probably. I'll see you then. I'm cracked at achieving almost nothing. <laughs> I will take that as a very high compliment, Pharaoh.